I mean, we're getting there. I'm never and right. no nope. shit. <laughs> it's okay if there's like I forgot people. something. What'd, What'd you, you forget? forget? Put the stream you... key in. You, oh my god! Because like, we changed the channel. Are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. Ready whenever you are, T Ray. Okay. Well, I'm not using those. Peter Daniel. All right. That's a thing. It's live. It's live. It, it's live. It says offline right now, but it's it's technically live. Yeah, it just popped up. I can yeah, see there it. it is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Wow. So. <clears throat> I, you that's just, a thing. It's a spooky ghost ad. That's yeah. Fine. We're all right. We'll get past the ad. So, um, hi. This is welcome to Kingmaker D and D. We're just let me let me go in live mode. So. All right. So this is real. This is a real thing that we're doing. So okay. Hmm. Tate, you want to introduce I'm, yourself first? Yeah, I'm Tate. Uh, I'm the D I am the DM of this uh, campaign that we're doing right now, and my players are. Uh, I'm gonna just go from right to left. Uh, Kyle, Bye. Julian, hey, and Cameron. That's for last. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Veto. Uh, this is actually. Session three, three, but like the second little bit, second act or act two, chapter yeah. or whatever you want to call it. Um, there is a recap on our YouTube channel, which I think is down on the uh, yeah, info you click, box. You click the welcome button. Yeah, you can listen to the recap of the first whole bit of the game. Um, I but just the soda. we decided after that to get to start streaming our uh, campaign sessions from now on, and we liked it. From there, because it's an enjoyable thing, and we want everyone else to enjoy them as well. Right. But yeah, never. Uh, I guess we can go from right to left. We can introduce ourselves. Or we already introduced the people, oh, introduce like characters. characters, and kind of what a little small background about them, and maybe what they hope to accomplish. Uh, so as we said, I'm Kyle, and I'm playing Doljahar. He's a uh, a banished dwarven commander of a foreign military force. Uh, he fought in a civil war and uh, was removed from his position, let's say, um, and banished from the dwarven clans. He no longer has a clan name. He's no longer a dwarf in their eyes. So that's 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 the thing. All right, cool. Um, like I said, I'm Julian. I'm playing Andrix, a uh, dark elf rogue, who uh, on a high value contract kill was uh, apprehended by by some uh, local guards and basically forced to um, grudgingly participate in, in uh, excursions on behalf of the uh, the kingdom that stopped me from killing people <laughs> oh I'm Cam I'm playing Rayton Garris the uh a human paladin, one of the actually is now the last survivor of the of the uh, Garrus family, um, who spent most of the time uh, behind uh, friendly lines, healing wounded, doing doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. So uh, I guess we'll dive in. Yeah, we'll just we'll just kind of dive in. Uh, for a very small recap of the very end of the last session, which is not in the video that you can listen to on our YouTube channel, um, after the events of the previous two sessions, the uh, party went around and searched kind of the city to find out if they can get any clues or leads on where they can go next. Uh, Doldrahar stayed behind and really kind of ra uh, rallied the troops and helped continue uh, packing up the rest of the army to move on from the city that they're at. Uh, Andrix went and searched with a few men from this m army uh, back into the castle to maybe find out some uh, more reason as to why the king did what he did. Uh, and from this, Andrix and these men found a book inside of a mage's uh, uh, training area. And, uh, this book was next to a sort of demonic summoning circle in a room coated with very thick webbing uh, from spiders. 
And in this book, it basically summarized a ritual that was um, attempted or might have failed, might have succeeded. Yeah, there's, it's really hard to tell. Um, but they, from what you could gather from the book, he were, they were trying to summon or commune with Loth, uh, which is not a very good thing. It's like the, the, the least good thing that you could possibly yeah. do. And um, one might say it's fucking dope, dude. <laughs> As a matter of fact. It fact. was, though. You can't lie. Yeah. It was so good. Um, and Rayton decided to go to his family home and see if he could uh, find any survivors of his family. Upon arriving there, there was no one. The house was deserted, and you could tell it had been uh, closed up for a while. Very stuffy air. Um, and he went into his father's study after reminiscing, looking around uh, at all the trinkets that their family, his family had. And he found a uh, diary of sorts that kind of described his father's research and everything that he did. And among the last few pages, uh, there was... A, only a corner of a page left that kind of detailed out a small warning about something that's to come or to prevent something that will be coming soon. Uh, but, again, there wasn't much in the page there because it was torn out. Was a, the last few pages are removed from the book. Uh, but upon coming upon these discoveries, they gathered up together again in the main tent of the camp that they had set up just inside the city. Uh, to kind of discuss what they were going to do next. Uh, it turns out in this black book, in the back pages, uh, kind of just folded up and put inside, was one of the pages that was torn out of Rayton's father's journal. And in this, this page, it detailed out that Rayton's father was on to some kind of scheme that the king was putting together. Presumably, it involved what transpired in that room with the ritual circle. And there is further notation further down the page about how there is something south of the city that he was going to check out. And that is kind of where we left off. You guys have... Uh, how have you guys kind of stayed around for the last few days uh, just after you finished packing up or which direction have you started heading if any at all all right so my first inclination has been to set a uh, sort of uh, uh, I, I actually to to get everyone kind of rounded up and get all the soldiers rallied and set up as best we can in the south end of the city outside the gates um, sort of where the camp was before, um, because it's a good it's a good rallying point I think for these people, uh, and it's also close to a lot of resources and infrastructure that's already here. Mm -hmm. um, and for maybe a day or two, unless you guys have an objection to this, mm -hmm. uh, help everyone get set up and everything established, and then send out a search party, uh, including ourselves probably. I would assume. Yeah, to go check out what's going on in the south. Okay. Um, I don't have objection to that. Um, but uh, so so obviously I, I finished searching and investigating all that mm -hmm. stuff. We we had the conversation between the, the the three of us about what our next steps were. Yes. Uh, basically, so um, as of right now. I still feel like I'm just a, a tool in a person's hand. So I'm going to follow Doldrahar uh, for, for the time being. Right. So. Okay. Um, so I'd say in these past couple days of you kind of rallying everyone in the south and whatnot, there have been a few travelers coming up the road from the south. Uh uh, a couple, the first group of travelers that came through were just kind of uh, normal farming folk uh, that you could establish, and they had said that from their village in the south to the south of the city, weird stuff was going on. 
It, it, they, they, of all the things that have been going on down there recently in the past weeks, months, um, however long it's been down there, uh, they have grown uh, restless and they no longer want to live there. They've come up north possibly to uh, establish themselves in the city of Boreal, uh, where there is no one. There, there is, there is there, nobody there, here. There happens it, to be very few people. It, it just so happens it's only you three and part of an army that, that are you, here. Would you say like 45% of There's an like army? There's like 45% Over of the half army. the army just deuces and or booked died. it like a thesaurus. Yeah. Or, or died. Or died. Yeah, that's that's um, good. And, and the, second, the second group of travelers is actually a wagon. Uh, packed full of stuff. stuff. So like everyone, like these these five people's belongings are just chucked in the back of this wagon. This, and they, they, they left. They're gone. They are, they're also coming up the south road. And they also tell you about these strange happenings down south. That's some prime real estate right there. A wagon. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so they tell us about some weird stuff. So, I mean, weird stuff. We've got that little exclamation you know, point. You know what's good against weird stuff? What's good against weird stuff? Like 65% of an army. That you know is, what we don't you know have? 65% <laughs> of an army. We happen to not have that number. So, um, the search party we're sending to, to uh, observe what kind of weird stuff is going on. How big should we have it? How big should the search party be? Obviously, it's us three, but... I'm thinking 17 people, not including us, make a total of 20 men. Okay. Uh, it's, uh... Yeah, we, we're looking at chat, by the way. Hi, Tate. You're a friend of mine. I'm Kyle. Land. All those things. Um, anyway. Humor. Uh, yeah, we, uh... I, I, th I think, yeah, I get a total of 20, 20. men, including ourselves, uh, sort of functioning as commanding officers and uh of course adol drahar would enjoy this oh you have position of power that's, he's all about that's that what he's here for i know yeah but alternative motives and... he's got them agendas yeah <laughs> so uh that's how many 20 to answer the question mm. 20 men including yourselves yeah yeah yes. okay. so 17 and und us. Yes. okay okay new yeah so you take your you take your search party of the twenty of you, and you start making your way south to this village that these two groups of people have told you about. Okay, so you, when you say South Village, is it like South? Is it like South? Or is it like South? It's just still cold. It's still cold. It's still cold. Yeah, okay. it's, st it's still cold. It's we're, gonna. We're going from Quebec to New York. Okay. Yeah. That okay. Yeah. So so bo bo the boreal kingdom was French, and we're just gonna talk about Snapple. Did you get that? Yeah. You, you got that? That was good. That was a good joke. Okay. Sorry. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, this this uh this road that leads south uh, it only takes you a couple hours uh to. Get walk through the forest and eventually come out into a clearing where there is a small village of what seems to be uh, 15 homes. There's a tavern and, you know, all the basic amenities that they basically need to have a self-fulfilling town. One that can sustain itself and not necessarily continually go out and trade people because they live in a horrible place. Um, there is nothing immediately strange about this village when you get here there's no there's, pro there's not what you probably expected considering how these thi the strange things you all have encountered within the last couple months are giants flying through the air various crystals and explosions and Big large spiders. auras that cover towns and cities and stuff I like the spiders. so if there's weird stuff going on we have to find that one old lady that knows the shit that's going on there's always that one old lady are you sure sure um in general though <laughs> we should include more than just an old lady maybe a, an ancient tome uh a, a crystal ball yeah maybe, Some maybe kind of scroll yeah a priest 
Maybe you're, a good idea. You're destiny foretold through 25 yeah. cents. <laughs> yeah. so, so basically literally anyone who has any information at all. Yep. Okay, uh, so you specifically said nothing seems weird. Except that it's weird. Except... I'm, I'm si- all right, I'm not saying anything weird. I just... <laughs> it, 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 it's a normal village. There are people out and about in the streets going to and fro. So there's people out in the streets. Mm-hmm. Are, are any of them talking to each other, or are they just kind of like milling about? There, there, there are people talking to each other. It, it, Can I listen to their conversations? Sure. Do, do I have to roll for that, or like my ears just explode? No, you, I mean, are you, are you trying to hide it? No, I just like walk by and just kind of walk like, like, off to the side and pretend um, that I'm not listening. Yeah. Uh, you you pass uh, these two people who are standing outside of a home uh, talking to each other, and one of them is talking to the other one kind of um, rapidly and kind of in a hushed tone. Uh, it seems kind of panicked, and from what you can kind of hear. I only need you to roll to see if you can hear this. Perception, probably. Perception. Bing! Yeah, you're you're good. That's like a, what a twenty-one. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's perception plus what intelligence? Wisdom. Wisdom. Twenty-one. 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 You pick up from this person who's speaking hushed and very quickly uh, to the other person in front of them that their daughter has upped and gone to this boy's house no frat house no no sorority Uh, the dmv she this this man's daughter has not been home in the last few days and he fears he might that she might have come in contact with the strange folk that have been coming around town okay so as i am listening to this you know, I, I, I want to I want to notice between the two when I kind of like uh, I'm looking off to the side. You know, who's saying it, and then I want to kind of like mark them, and I want to just you get know ready to it follow, it's, follow it's, them. It's, it's the man. It's the man. All right. So I want if the man like finishes that conversation mm-hmm. and starts like perusing. My daughter hasn't been home in a few days. I feel she might have come in contact with those strange people, and then he just disengages conversation. Yeah, you know, seriously, like, that's exactly like, like a real NPC. Yeah. He, so, so basically what's going to happen is... TMV. <laughs> Not well animated, kind of gliding while Speeder's just moving a little bit. Just yeah, he's, he's, no, he's just it's, sliding. It's, yeah, he's <laughs> sliding away. So, I, I mean, if he's going to walk off, maybe, maybe I'm going to like follow him or something. Okay. Uh, he, he starts walking off, and he cuts, acro- he cuts across the area. And he's like, There's not a lot of people. You're not going to lose this guy. I continue it's not to like cut across crowd. behind him. Uh, you, you cut across the uh, like town square, and he walks into... Uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. Uh, he he walks Ooh. into the tavern, the inn. I walk into the tavern. I just Dude, push the I'm door sorry. open oh, and I take, man. take a deep breath. <sighs> oh, okay. The den of iniquity. Everyone, everyone who's in there just turns and looks at you. My friend doesn't like you. <laughs> I don't like is it either. morning? Is it afternoon? Is it... Uh, it's, I'd say it's like mid-afternoon. Good afternoon, fellow people. That's there, it. There, there's but, not much of a, of a response. I don't going to do like... A, a couple people like nod their heads, but no one really says anything. Right, and you get kind of... You get a few like glares. We've been here like an hour corner. and you're already like the town creep. <laughs> now hang on. It's not creepy if you're friendly. It's that totally makes it creepy. worse. It's totally creepy. <laughs> it's so creepy. But so I just like, oh, hey, how's it going? And then this dude, this mm. man, I keep following him like a creep. <laughs> he, okay. Before, like, if he does anything else, I just want to pass like a waitress and just Snag one of the the cups and just thank you. He goes. He goes and he sits at the bar, and you, you snag the cup off of the uh, barmaiden's platter, and she goes, "Hey, you have to pay for that." I just toss some silver at her. I'm like, "Take it, take it." Okay, yeah. I'm busy, I'm busy. <laughs> I throw some silver. Yeah, you, you handle oh, it. You're like, yeah, I'm, I'm watching a guy. Hold on a minute. <laughs> yeah, seriously. So I just toss some silver. I toss like seven silver. Just. Off. I'm yeah. like everyone just drinks for everyone. And I sit down at the bar next to him. And I was like, ah, "Fun day, you know." 
Right. It's good to be here. How did you feel about bringing your daughter to work day? <laughs> <laughs> my daughter's caught. <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah, I just I just sit down at the bar. I'm like, oh yeah, it's a fun day, you know. I can't say it has been. Why? Why do you say that? My daughter's missing. Your daughter is missing. This is the first time I'm hearing about this. God, how damn. can I help you? Oh my God, this is a horrible turn of events. Sir, <laughs> sir. I happen to be a private investigator. Is that Andrix Draven. <laughs> At your service. Private investigator. So, so yeah. that means money, right? You're not gonna, you're not gonna go look for my daughter for free. No, no, sir. It might not be for free but at a very discounted price i'd like to have been tailing them from a distance and about this time walk into the bar myself <laughs> um say nothing go up to the bar separate to them uh and just start listening in as well okay yeah. So, so yeah i just a very discounted price at least at least i would say one gold Deal. There you go. Anything for my daughter's safety. Well, I'm glad that you're not like. And your house. That's, that's on the contract, right? <laughs> and, your, <laughs> and, and, and your house. <laughs> yeah. I, and, and, and your daughter. I, I need. <laughs> I need my home. <laughs> I need it. No, I, I just I, I don't even need the money, but just to kind of make oh, it one real. gold. Yes. Deal. That's a deal. So, do you have any specific leads that you'd want me to? Uh, Go about maybe some strange happenings or uh, something that just doesn't seem exactly right in the town. He, he pulls out his gold and he just kind of puts it on the thing. I on take the, the gold and of sleight of hand flick it off to the just to the side. What you just you throw just, it? You just you just give it, it back to him. <laughs> You're just gonna throw it? I'm just gonna throw it. Do you, do you want him to know that you no, threw I, it? No, I'm, I slightly I like, don't let him know I threw it. Well, can you roll for that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, what is that? Just what? Dexterity. Dexterity. <laughs> 19? Yeah, he did not see you. Just <laughs> throw the coin across the bar. Where does it land? It, it, it just lands in some dude's cup. Oh! <laughs> That's great. That's great. He, right. he he sees it land in his cup and he just chugs it down. <laughs> great. Now I'm and in the navy. a coin. <laughs> Boom. There you go. I'm happy to help. All right. So he gives me the coin. Mm -hmm. And you throw it like a horrible person. I I happen to be. You could just like. You could just let him keep the coin. Yeah. Okay? But <laughs> like you know, it's cool. You should be a good person. You you right? actually just took money from him and didn't even like keep it. Like really though. <laughs> I'm like worse than a capitalist. <laughs> 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 But, so, but I mean, so any strange happenings? There have been these people that have been coming in and out of town. Coming in they're, out of town. They're different. They they look normal. For all intents and purposes, that you could use normal for, but they come in and they just preach. They talk about preach. You mean cultists called it? <laughs> hang on. Meta. <laughs> so what you're saying is you have clergymen coming to your town and preaching? It's that doesn't seem odd to he me. He should be sir. fine. He's got a daughter, not a son. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> that doesn't seem <laughs> yeah, odd but, to me. But people after these clergymen, clergymen. Uh, come into town. And then, you know, come up here in the bar and have a few drinks and leave. Pe people just go missing. Now, are you sure they're not going missing and just, say, finding God or gods? But you would, you, you would think that... They would come back? They not, not necessarily come back, but if they're going to leave to pursue a new religion, that they would at least tell somebody. Or say goodbye. Or or say yeah, goodbye. Or you just come across the bar. <laughs> yeah, or exactly. say goodbye. It's <laughs> like thank you. So, yeah, or or nice you know, addition, like, dwarf. Yeah. Or be like, hey dad, I'm gonna go be a priest for these people that came to preach. Maybe it's not them leaving out of nowhere. Maybe they, they have gone to God and 
you haven't been a good enough father to deserve that goodbye. That's accusatory. Ooh. Okay. Raiden's kind of coming at this point. He, the man, he, he I'm stands up and I'm throws the bar stool clatters back behind him on the floor. He stands up and he points his big, meaty fingers at you and says, dare How dare you so, question me as a father? Raiden's gonna come Stop in, it. okay, Stop and it. walk <laughs> over to this lovely, you're an elf, right? Gentleman. Gentleman. Uh, <laughs> um... Being the large paladin he is, m- much of a meat, meat on this man, look at so the fat. big meaty finger, sure, <laughs> my friend here, and say, uh, I would happen to be the muscle of his little organization. Do we have a problem? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Your drow here just insulted my ability as a father. He does it that. was a simple poke of fun. I... Apologize. I want my gold back. <laughs> Look around the one over there. <laughs> Unfortunately, the deal has been made. I will find your daughter for one gold. And that's the end of it. I promise you this. Well, then we have nothing more to discuss. Go find my daughter. Oh, fantastic. Peeking the mic. Careful. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Yeah, don't slap the table. Sorry. I just... I slammed the table. I, I, I slammed the table. I didn't mean to just... <laughs> so he ends the conversation with you. Pretty abruptly, I and, assume. And he storms out of the tavern. Rightfully so, because, you know, you're kind of a dick. Because <laughs> you insulted the shit out of him. I, I honestly was, like, poking fun, but it wasn't like... Well, I mean... He, this man isn't exactly in a poking fun mood, I would imagine. His Seeing daughter is, his... in fact, not here anymore. Yeah, yeah. and then you're gone. like, well, you're, not, you're also just not a good father, so, like, whatever. <laughs> Maybe she's just gone, because she hates you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It, that could very well, well be it. That's, that's basically what happened. Or she was kidnapped by, I don't yeah. know, coldness. Um, while that exchange is going on, Doldrar. Yeah, my man. What did I hear? You 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 heard, like, are, you heard the man stand up and get angry and stuff among other things among other things. But while that conversation was going on, a man sat down next to you, mm-hmm. and he he kind of looked over at you and he was like, "You're far from home." <clears throat> what makes you say that? Well, you don't see very many dwarves up north, and. Considering how most dwarven holds are down in the south, and I mean south. Fair play. What can I do for you? I'm just interested in the travels of, I am assume you're an adventurer of sorts? No, I'm a whittler. <laughs> <laughs> um... More of a military man than an adventurer. Mm. Understandable. What's your name? Half a military man. That's a difficult question. One I'd answer only to someone whose name I know first. The old switcheroo. <laughs> Fuck. I call him the name. <laughs> What's Why this dude's name? Why not Zeke? Yeah. Fuck it. No, don't. Hello. Hey, come on. That, I, no, yeah, I enjoy you that. Do. Yeah, no. He, he int- the man introduces himself as Zeke. Self insert. He, does, he doesn't have a last name. Guest insert. No, he just, uh, he's, he's, he's just Zeke. <laughs> My name's Zeke. They call me Doldrahar. Dun dun dun. Why, why is that a dun dun dun? Dun dun. Doldrahar sounds like some badass supervillain. Just Doldrahar? Just Doldrahar. Most dwarves are usually proud about their name. Most dwarves live in dwarven lands. Fair enough. Shot down. So, I take it you don't really have a home then? Where is this going, Zeke? He's quite perceptive. Indeed. Um, I noticed you just kind of seem... Out of place. And, you know, 
I'm a drow. Your jaws are the other ways, dude. He's a clergyman. He Ooh. he's he he offers you. We're having a banquet. Banquet of sorts. I helped. <laughs> uh, later this evening, if you'd like to join, you know we 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 try and gather people who seem like they might have lost part of their way or maybe looking for something more looking for something more you say a family hmm well I suppose it wouldn't hurt to check it out fair enough where is this banquet? It's just outside the village. There's a farm a little east of here uh, that we'll be having our banquet in. I suppose I'll see you tonight. Okay. Did I hear that? Oh, you were arguing with this dude. Oh, I thought yeah, I thought it's, it's about it's about that time whenever I said I guess I'll see you tonight. He jumps out of his seat and points his meaty finger at you. Yeah, right. About it's simultaneous. He. He, he pats you on your back, and then he gets up, and he leaves. Okay. I checked to make sure I still have my gold, first of all. Yeah, you're, you, okay. you still have your gold. So he's definitely a clergyman. Yeah. At least in these times. I'm, <laughs> clergyman now. I don't know. I feel like you'd be missing a lot of gold if he was a clergyman. <laughs> Most times. Let's be honest. Excuse me, sir. Have you heard about the Lord and Savior, Muhammad Ali? <laughs> Muhammad Ali is a very different yeah, I person know. than I know. the Lord and Savior. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so I didn't hear any of that exchange, and as the dude walks off, I turn to Doldrahar and say, people these days. Yeah, they just don't know how to throw a banquet. I know where to go. What? What were you doing? <laughs> how did you... What? Speaking to a priest. You know, if you spent less time insulting everybody you meet, you might find well, some things useful. Look, look, look here. <laughs> it wasn't an insult. You called him a poor father. That is most likely true. It was, but <laughs> it wasn't much of an observation. I that's, look, <laughs> Dondrahar <laughs> has gotten us to a bit. Now, Mr. Muscle, we feast. Alright. So I'm, speaking of feast, I'm hungry. I think we're just gonna cut to the banquet. There's Probably, unless you guys want to do something. Yeah, I'd like to buy a bomb. Let's go. So what? Kyle, wait, buy a what? Hmm? Buy a what? It's extremely accurate. I'm going to wolf Sean's at this place. A You're going to what? No, um, I'll, 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 I'll put a bomb under the table joke is what I was going oh. with. No. Oh. Um, <laughs> Beto. Two-thirds Congress? Beto. Yeah. Let's not. Uh, let's say... No, yeah, let's go ahead and cut forward. So... I'm okay with that. It's... Coming towards, it's sunset evening. Uh, the sun is setting, as in, as what as, 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 as sunset is. Yeah. Um, and you're walking to this farm just east of the village, uh, and you can see like tiki torches kind of mm -hmm. lining the path there and the main gate, kind of uh, just an ar uh, wooden archway, uh, and it leads into the farm up to a farmhouse and off to the right of this house this very quaint like little house on the prairie it's kind of like little house on the prairie but i mean you can fit a nice size family in there for the whole farm work that so, needs to be done yeah. it's just a farm house. john marston's house from red dead redemption average house on the prairie a uh, just a place yeah yeah uh it's just a place and to the right there's the barn and you can see like lights and people and kind of like festivities going on over there where is there uh, is there, is there anyone like, by, like, by the gate to greet us? Yes. There, there, there are a couple of. Is these... our friend Zeke here? No, he is not at the front gate. Uh, I don't even know who Zeke is. I saw him for like half a second, and I'm yeah. like, banquet. You saw his cloak or leg or whatever. Maybe, maybe some of his ankle. robe. Uh, but there, his there ankle. are a couple. There are a couple people there who greet you, and you say, "Oh, welcome." If you head just over there to the bar, uh, <laughs> we, we can go ahead and join our feast. Well, we it'll be starting shortly. Yeah. 
We're going just the three of us, by the way. Our men are still yeah. in town. I, I, I figured. Yeah. No, we, we bring, we're not going to bring 20 armed men. People yeah, like, into we're a all fucking... here. <laughs> There's a bit of an issue with that, so I understand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the, these these are these clergymen, or are these just like some? They're they're not wearing like priest and clergy clothes, but I mean, you can kind of just kind of gather yeah. that these might be the strange people uh, that come in and out. Of who them. are they? Both of them. Male or female? Or? They're 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 male, both okay. of them. Hello, gentlemen. Are you just as, as excited? What are you shushing me for? <laughs> are you as, as I excited as you. I am for this banquet? Oh yes, we are so excited, and we always enjoy taking part of dinner, taking part in, in dinner with our family. What Family. kind of festivities do we have planned for tonight? Well, we have a grand feast that's going to be starting off the night. And then from there, we're going to have entertainment of bards, uh, gestures, jesters, sorry. Um, and maybe some cornhole after. Some what? Cornhole. It's a game. It's a game. Where you throw the beanbag, you toss the beanbag into a hole. That's cornhole? That's cornhole. Yeah. Andrix is writing this down. I... <laughs> I just cornhole. Note to self: cornhole is not sexy. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm like, mm, okay, no longer sexual act. Cool. <laughs> well, you say family. Are we all family in, in the in the light of God? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone here is. Part of our great big family. I'm gonna just tuck my symbol Peronius deep into my belt. <laughs> yeah. going for it. <clears throat> <clears throat> no, you're not. <laughs> it's like not hiding at all. Like sure, dude. <laughs> no, but um, I should mention I'm still wearing the colors of the. Uh... So like, if anyone knows about uh, boreal forces and distinctly the colors they wear and all that, mm-hmm. that's still present on really? me. So yeah, I, I, I strip myself all. Colors I also recently. strip myself. Yeah. Anyways, I didn't, um, I didn't need that link. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, um... Are there any more questions you'd like to ask these gentlemen? Yes, I would. Would you please lead the way to the banquet? Hang on a second, Clayton, <laughs> my good man. <laughs> Who is this heavenly being? Oh, we'll have further discussion about that at dinner. Out of canon... Super red flag. Oh yeah, no, totally. such a yeah, hard. Don't red eat flag. anything. Don't <laughs> eat. Don't eat. Don't eat. Don't drink. Don't breathe. They're gonna get. They're, we say that on the way there. They're gonna. We're establishing. Guesses. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. I, no, I, I, no I, like, I was already thinking about this. So not eating as food. we're why as they're saying they're guiding us or whatever. I just. They're not guiding you. Oh, they're not. They just pointed your. Oh, they're just gonna They're just like go to the barn. So halfway there, we're just like don't eat anything. Ingest nothing. And I look at Goldrah and I say definitely. Dwarf, and yeah. I kind of just slug you because I have a weak constitution. Is that what you're implying? No, dwarfs like alcohol. Oh, that was it. We also are resistant to poison, so I mean, if I did eat anything, you know what? You're not <laughs> wrong. You are not wrong. Let's just go to dinner. We go to dinner. We go to the barn. You you walk into the barn and there is a long table, That's like fine. like some some last dinner. Yeah, type. yeah, like like the last dinner, but last I mean, supper. Last supper. Last yeah, supper. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if you want to, but don't attribute the words "last supper" to the event that's that, is, that yeah, is transpiring. No, I feel like that's actually the last thing we want to do. Last supper, guys. We're all gonna die. Like, yeah, three heavily armed men walk in. Welcome to the last supper, y'all. Uh, there's a long table that stretches basically from the barn door to the back of the barn, okay. where there is a small stage and a podium, and there's like lights and stuff. Nice lights. And, yeah, it's like torch light. I mean, or lanterns no. hanging down. No candles. candles. Well, it could be candles it, as well. Yeah, but... they're the lighting. It's light. It's good lighting. It's not spooky, ominous lighting like blood red lights that are just. We're going to kill you. Yeah, and you just hear it's that just... in the back of but, your mind. The t- There's an owl back there. <laughs> Death. The, the, ta- Death. <laughs> the table is Death. covered in food. There's pigs. Fowls, there's all kinds of vegetables and all the like. Anything you can think of is most likely here. All right. Unless you try and think of something absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I, really, I, really, I, I have not eaten, I'm only drinking, so I'm. 
I'm I'm kind of. You can just be hungry. You don't have to roll to decide. No, but like, hungry. no, I'm just as like a, a fight for myself. I'm like, God, uh, this looks. Good. I'm gonna do an insight, and I, I just want to know if this is like bad. It's what is that? Insight plus two plus intelligence or wisdom? Or wisdom. Or it doesn't insight. make any difference. So fifteen. So what do you? you want? He's he's if, he's feeling just he's insight. Like, like like if I eat this, is something bad gonna happen? You don't know. All right, with a fifteen, not eating it. <laughs> like, you, you, you would assume not. You it would just looks like not. Food. It's just already we're like it's there, not. But uh, you, I'm gonna say that right now there is no reason to believe because no one has necessarily shot up any kind of red flags as to eating food will kill you here. Okay. Yeah. I'm just, but... You don't think it's poison, right? We, we are, however, skeptical anyway. Yeah, there are a lot of people in this barn. Um, are they eating? They're, they're kind of gathered around. They're in, like, groups just talking and chatting about. And, you know, there's musical entertainment in the back corner of the barn as it kind of echoes, right. reverberates throughout. And no one is sitting at the table eating right now, but that's probably because the host hasn't showed up. Mm-hmm. There isn't anyone who is here that you can be like, it's their feast. Kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no one. There, there are a couple people sitting at the table, but like I said, they're, they're drinking. Maybe they're not really eating any food right now. Um, but there's tons of people in here, all different kinds of races, all different kinds of walks of life. You can just kind of look and see. Some people are more rugged looking than others. Some are more, I don't know, pampered looking. They don't look like they've really worked a day in their lives and stuff like that. There, there are people from all walks of life here. All right, that's interesting. You didn't happen to catch the girl's name, did you? <sighs> Maybe what you I'm a bad like. detective. I'm not a detective. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is the thing. I'm not. A, that was a lie. Maybe what she looked like. She I looks like the dad. I actually probably. got none of that information because I pissed him off and he's like, you know what? Just find her. <laughs> I'm oh, the best PI like, ever. Like, he wants his daughter found, but if you're going to be an asshole, he's not going to make it easier for you. <laughs> what? He should. Dick. He should, yes. But he is a bad mother. He's like, he's like I don't. I, I don't want you to find her, so I won't give you her name, what she looks like, the last place I saw her. Cut, it c- cuts to a scene inside a, a like a, a darkened living room with very light. He's just sitting there, the man with a cup. He just... I didn't tell him anything. I I didn't give him any information about my daughter. <laughs> and then it cuts back. And then he takes another drink, and he just sits there and he goes, Huh. <laughs> And then it cuts back. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god. Dang oh, it's, it. That's great. So, that's a thing. So you said there's a podium, right? There yes. is a podium. I'm going to go ahead and make a podium. really nice Heronius speech at the end of this night. <laughs> at the end of the night, maybe. Yeah. When they're all dead. When they're all, <laughs> everyone's on the floor and you're like, Heronius, yeah. That dude's cool. You guys should look him up. You guys should look him up. Just go on www.heroniusisdope.org. .org. org. It's an organization. Dot .faith. What are you, incorporated? <laughs> no, it's, dot, an dot it's a religious organization. Dot .god. Dot .edu. There you go. <laughs> we educate people on Heronius. You, you just, just look up Heronius on www.fantasy. Totally not Google.com. <laughs> right, we can't can't sponsor Google. They don't want us. <laughs> no, like, no, we don't want that. Oh, I was about to say, like, it's got to be a dot org, Zeke says. Dot org, yeah. Yeah, dot org. org. It's got to be. It's dot org. All right. So. It's a link deleted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, in chat. It's funny. Um, yeah, so. What do you want? Th- that's wanna, the thing. Do you want to mingle? Do you want to sh- sit down and start eating? I'm gonna look. Okay, okay. okay. the like, fact that you specifically I'm asked just, us, I don't believe you. I don't trust yeah. you. We know the daughter's young, right? Let's look. No, through. we have. She we, could be six. She could be eighteen. Okay. She could be seventy-two. She's how, not. How old was the man? Like, we got a good look at the, the man. The man right? was like in his forties. Forties. All right. So she's so, going to be. She's going to be younger. Any, like, probably anything early twenties. From zero to twenty-three. Okay. Who's the youngest woman in this room? 
with kids? Are there kids? They, there are kids. I don't there. want to kidnap yeah. people and be oh, like, yeah. does your father miss you? And like, <laughs> <laughs> like what? I don't know. My father's dead. <laughs> it's like, we're all Wrong family. Kid. And they just throw her Yeah, away. but like, there, there's, there's a kid's table. I mean, okay. okay. They're okay. chilling out there. And, like, late teens, early 20s, woman with, you know, brown hair, there, blue eyes, same shit as the father. There, there are younger women there. Yes. Okay. Okay. I do want to go up to random women. Just, <laughs> hey, that's does okay. your father miss and, you? Just end the sentence there. That is the best spot. <laughs> I want to go up to a random woman. <laughs> yeah, so I, I do that. I do that. I'm gonna go up to a random woman that I look that I think would adequately like the same type of hair. I don't. I don't remember his eyes because I didn't care that much. That's that's for damn sure. But hair at least, and I just yeah. want to go up to the same hair color and just tap them on the shoulder and be, like, "Good evening, madam." Turns around, startled. Oh, hi! Hey, how's it going? Does she have like the same jaw structure? And... It's, it's literally just his <laughs> face. Just <laughs> him with tits. That's but, it. Yeah, it's him with tits. No, no, no. It's that... him with fake tits. Long. It's hair. literally him. He's his own daughter. You can see the orange. And he still has the color. It, 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 tur- it turns out his daughter died really young, oh and he's been god. traumatized by that, so he just is his daughter now. Oh my god! And he's just like. Crazy? No. You <laughs> found you. me. You <laughs> found my daughter. No. I need me. So, you know, I said, "Hey, how's it going? It's good." Yeah, we're having a fastidious night. That's fantastic. So, I have a question to ask you. I know this is a little odd. What town is she from? If she's from this local village, I'm are like, you from the, the local village? No. Have a good night. <laughs> okay. She just turns back to her friends and keeps talking. I ask all of her friends the same question. No, I mean, if they have the same hair color. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I just none say, of them are from this village. That's fine. I go to another mingling group of women. They've all been brainwashed. <laughs> Hi, I'm Stacy. No, I'm Stacy. We're, no, We're all Stacy. We're all Stacy. We're all Stacy. Heathers. <laughs> So I go up to another group of females that might have the same hair color as the guys with Jason. These group of these group of girls are from this village. Yes. Okay. Cool. So I ask. Uh, so I, I have an odd question for all of you, uh, ladies. <laughs> Does your father miss you? They all respond in unison. I don't know. <laughs> Lean in. Quiet. Let's go. Uh, Who's your daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All of them said at the same time, in perfect unison, I don't know. Yeah. I am thoroughly spooked. <laughs> I say, none of you know. No. Did we do you the even, name? Do you even think? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> no names. <laughs> we just take all of them back. Which one is yours? When no we names. find this daughter, no I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the dopest private investigator because I I would have done it with zero information whatsoever and under. two very helpful allies. You guys are just weird. <laughs> you're a muscle. we're weird. <laughs> you're the creep that followed a dude across town. I'm hanging out by the front door, by the way, in the mm-hmm. barn. Uh, like shoulders, not shoulders against the wall, you know. Lean uh, like the cool guy the in cool that guy 80s movie. Yeah. yeah, you're Chad from that one fraternity. Yeah. Or something. I'm, tra- <laughs> I'm waiting for the dude with antlers to come in. Basically, oh, no. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm okay. walking around talking to people, trying to find out more about their god. Hence, on quotation marks around God. Don't actually ask them about God like this, though. No, hey, no. guys, what can you tell me about your God? God. No, I'm, I'm asking. What Air the, quotes. I'm asking what this is about, and you know, what's with God, person, and dude, and you know, why are we here? What's happening? Oh, uh, okay. The people you ask, they basically tell you that they're here to celebrate the familyhood and that the togetherness that they're that their deity brings them. And so how, somebody's going to die. How tonight. how <laughs> great. She is as a person. She. she fuck. fuck. No. Oh. No. Veto. <laughs> Careful. Veto. With, with the slapping. Is is this crazy spider bitch? It could be crazy spider bitch. Oh no. It could be law. Veto. I'm. Li- I leave. I actually. I don't leave. You don't leave. You. You're not with Rayton. What, what, okay. But am I able to put crazy spider bitch? I mean, it could, it could also be with her. Goddess of the hearth and family and home. I'm gonna tell you right now. That it's a cover up. This is this is just like um not that I'm not saying that. They're making driners. I'm gonna ask what the goddess's name is. I'm very curious. I'm very interested in joining the family. I'd like to know more about it. 
you'll you'll be able to learn more once our once our great leader gets here. Stop I'm totally medicating. Make eye contact leader. with both of them, just like. <laughs> no, do you actually go up to me? I I, I look for you. I guess. Okay, I, I, so I, you they play. Thank you. This has been so helpful. I'm gonna go find my friends now. So okay. um, and run away fast. Literally, it's like, hey, thank you so much, and just run. But uh, so I, I kind of see you kind of like speed walking over yeah. to me, and and I'm like, what 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 what? Uh, Granted, kind of what? Approach, you know, going just a little bit like. <sighs> Remember the book thing we found about the evil spider queen or whatever. Love. Yeah, about that. You're kidding. Me. So we should leave. <laughs> And come back how with do you, the army? How, you, maybe, I'm not here, obviously. But. Maybe, but yeah. Um, how did did they did they actually mention? I I was I was discussing with this nice young lady. Okay. I asked what what was happening. What this is for? Who are we worshiping? You know, she might have brought up she she brought who, up a she who we were worship who was this for a she asked who it was in particular. Do I know? Like, You'll find out more later. Which is scary. Do, so, so, do I know of Hestia? Ed, you make a religion role, maybe? I'll make a religion I, I, role. I would. Is, I'm, okay. I'm a religious Question. man. Hestia. I know her anyway. Yeah. She's a human deity. She's a, she was a Greek real world deity. Okay. So, you probably know okay. who she is. That's fine. Considering how, I was raised even with though humans. as a drow, you were raised with a homo. If he didn't, I would. Yeah. So, I said, okay, okay, now think about this, right, right. Maybe this is actually just. A festival for Hestia. If it is, there would be no reason for the, the no secrecy. Secrets. No I, secrets. I get no? that. Yeah, maybe she's about just family and unity, and this is not. Th- there's a lot of gaps in in yeah. their in their s- details. They give us details by leaving all of the details out. I understand. Maybe we should wait to see what's really going on. But it might I, be a good idea to leave. Yeah, we are in an enclosed area. It's not the, closed. The barn doors are still open. Not to mention, but we don't it even know can who we're looking be closed. For. We're not in an open field yeah, in the celebration. That's we are correct. in a specific barn. It can be closed. It can be and barricaded burned. and burned. Not to mention, not. We don't even know who we're looking for. We have no names, no leads. I. We can come back another time. No, that's what I'm, sure. I'm going to go back to the woman. And ask if there'll be another celebration. Is soon. <laughs> yes. Yes. There. There. After this celebration, there's going to be an after party. Of after party. Sorts. It's... This. Okay. Uh, my friends and I actually need to leave, but we can make it back to the after party very soon. It's just there's business to take care of in town, and I'm afraid I might lose my coin purse somewhere, which I need to find. You understand, don't you? Yeah. Okay. We'll be back very soon. Please don't don't wait up. And grabbing them and like as yes, you're leaving. <laughs> Damn it! I'm, I'm, I was gonna say I'm not leaving anyway. So oh, okay. As you and as Rayton and Antrix start making their way to the door, the music from the back of the barn stops. I instantly grasp my <laughs> pocket and hold my coin. Can I like jump out of the door? Can I just like GT and- all the FOS? And one and someone comes up on the stage and they says, it, they says, they, they, said. they say, everyone welcome, our great matriarch, Amaranth. And out from the side of the barn, from the shadows, the darkness. <laughs> Not even walking, just gliding, gliding the in a dark robe, smoke. Da- dark robes, smoke, <laughs> gliding with their arms like the emperor, like folded in, like in the robes, a gliding face. up on the stage. Kyle, meta, out of canon, who was Amaranth? Well, Amaranth is a, is a pretty... Uh... Amaranth isn't a character in D&D as far as I'm aware. Like, oh, really? Lore. Yeah, she's... It's it's just a character. Okay. It's, it's a name. As a religious that, that man, I, I what do I know of Amaranth? A- Amaranth is a person you have never heard of. Yeah. Am- so after this person gestures off to the side of the barn and then walks off the stage, a the most beautiful drow woman you have ever seen in your life, wearing dark gray robes with. Gold embroidering, gold colored, not gold embroidering, walks up on the stage very elegantly. I turn 
turn his head back the other direction. <laughs> it's not turning. Okay. <laughs> Gorgeous. She's alright. Jeweling. Right. <laughs> I have to meet her. <laughs> be my wingman. Be, be my wingman. She places her hands. This girl is poison. <laughs> she places her hands on the podium. And she looks out among, uh, along, among the crowd of people. And she says, Welcome. My children, thank you for welcoming hey, me. We'll be right back as I'm dragging them out. <laughs> thank you for welcoming me. I'm glad you have all gathered here tonight in lieu of our festivities that are ongoing. We have the most delicious food you will ever eat, followed by partying and games afterwards. <laughs> and after all of that, there is going to be an after party, something more private to those who I will sacrifice. Invite. Love me, sacrifice. <laughs> Love me. You're like, oh my god, yes, I'm like, oh my god. Man. She <laughs> will be my cornholing partner. <laughs> cornhole me. <laughs> <laughs> cornhole is still a sexual term. <laughs> Are we leaving? Am I? I don't think I'm. Like, if I'm leave. able to leave, can I pull this guy with me? <laughs> my strength is low, but. Your 16. will is higher. I'm My sure. will is very high. So, if you if you want to actually try and drag him out of the barn, you can. He'll resist. That might like but cause will there attention, be... right? What? Did that cause any attention? To that might. I mean, you're dragging a dude out of the barn. Um, Do you have any garrote? Okay. Well. <laughs> I just, Would I, you resist? I need you to roll contest if you're going to resist. Are you going to resist? I, I, yeah, I, I want... That's not a roll. Roll. That wasn't a roll. Damn. Okay, yeah, That's no. even worse! <laughs> are, you, are you really too afraid to roll when you got a two? I really wanted to just smack the one on the table and be like, oh no, but I really want this. <laughs> you, you can intentionally fail anything. Yeah. If Wait. you wanted to fail, you can. Well, it's too late now. I, 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 I yeah. want this. You, you, you didn't, you didn't go. You stood I, your ground, he was like pulling on you and you're just... I'm just... <laughs> You're a wall. You're you, <coughs> you're the thing. I'm the thing. And she says, "Please, my children, sit at the table. I and sit take the part table. in our feast. I sit at the table. I'm and gonna make eye contact with you, with uh, Doldrahar, and look straight at him. Go, look back at you and go, we're fucked. <laughs> it's just like, oh my god. <laughs> I sit at the table. A, a, a couple, a, a servant goes around with a large pitcher." And starts filling everybody's drink. Mm-hmm. He fills every person's drink at the do table. It. I gotta do and it. And walks do it. up to the podium and fills Amaranth's drink as well. I, I, I had to do it to him. Okay. I guess I'll sit down. Well, at this point, everyone's sitting down. Yeah. Do I right not have a choice? <laughs> if you want to stand, you can. I guess I've, I'm sitting. I'm sitting near, like, closest seat to one of them. Mm-hmm. We have... A cat has joined us. A cat has joined. Yeah. Hi, kitty. Claire has joined the game. Yeah. She she stands there elegantly, raises her cup and says, "Let us feast." And then she drinks, and so does basically everyone else at the table. So I, I take the, the goblet or cup yeah. or whatever. I look at you. I, I'm I'm staring you down like you know it's a bad idea, dude. <laughs> Dude, suicide pack. It's real. <laughs> I bring it to my lips, but I don't drink it. Okay. I'm not thirsty. Inhales the drink. Patrick Star. There's a, there's a chunk out of the cup and we take a bite. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm looking at it and I, I look at Brayden. You see me do this? He did. He's he's holding it to his mouth. He's like, you don't know if he's drinking it though, unless you're right next to him. Oh, it's gotta be one. Zeke, stop talking. (laughs) No, don't stop talking. I love Zeke. This is great. Yeah. I just. Yeah. You don't put it down. Okay, he did not drink it. I don't drink it. Okay. 
She she drinks out and she empties her goblet. It's the floor. <laughs> it's the freaking floor. Dead. And Stabs it with a knife. She she <laughs> shotguns her goblet. <laughs> when she, God, there's an opening at the top. <laughs> she she sets her goblet down on the top of the podium, and she walks down and sits at the head of the table and starts eating, and everyone else just. Goes. Oh my God, they're I'm just so oh, hungry. I'm they're so hungry. they're stuffing their faces with all these different cuisines and meals and just lean everything. cuisines. Lean cuisines. <laughs> yeah. We got we got Stouffer's mac and cheese. We got everything you dude, can possibly dude, okay. imagine. If there's not dinosaur chicken nuggets, it's not a party I want to be at. There is dinosaur chicken nuggets. Do we got kid cuisine? What is this, Eberron? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think this is, man? There's there's everything you can pretty much think of. This Every, is fun. Everybody is. Drinking, they're they're just getting shmammered. They're just <laughs> going to town on this drink that this servant's just coming around. It's an infinite it. goblet. Yeah. You're all gonna die. <laughs> and he's just filling everyone's glass. A goblet of devouring. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing <laughs> lean about this cuisine. <laughs> and, and the music starts playing again. It's really happy and just like. So I'm sitting there while everyone's just stuffing their fat, stupid faces with drink and food. I, I'd actually like to go talk to Amaranth pretty right. I would also like I to. I wouldn't say that's appropriate. You don't just get up and go talk to the host. I'm a nobleman. I know how this guy works. <laughs> Gluttony. Gluttony, daddy. Okay. Um, oh, hello. Rayton gets up to go speak to Amaranth, and at the same time... Zeke comes up to you and he sits down next to you. No, oh, hey Zeke. He says, "I'm glad you could make it. You I'm glad you're you decided to take a leap to try out our family." Of course. I don't like the way he says that. Yeah, I don't like Zeke. Zeke is, Zeke is creepy. I, I'm listening to this out of canon, and I don't appreciate. Yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I appreciate this Zeke. Oh, oh hi. Oh hi. <laughs> <laughs> Says, how are you enjoying our festivities? Is the food delicious and the drink ever pleasing? I've yet to try either. I, um, I would first know what Kool Aid I'm drinking. Oh, this is, but the finest the of Tamriel brandy. <laughs> Tamriel brandy. Are you telling me that this Zeke dude is just like my dude, my general store dude? Huh? The finest. Yeah, yeah, the sure. finest. <laughs> Um, that's not entirely what I meant. I, oh, I would be happy you're to- you're asking if it's poisonous. No. Whoa. Not that either. Whoa. That Music really stops for a second. <laughs> 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 by, drink, by drink the Kool-Aid, I mean what exactly this, this family is oriented towards. I'd be more than happy to partake in the after party, but as for now, I'm just here for the information. Look, it's a family oriented towards- Unity and bro <laughs> and <laughs> cherishing so all that is given to us and helped gathered by our matriarch That's me Amaranth. Thank you. That's me. Yeah. That, that's you. Yeah. That's not exactly the most descriptive. Um I there's it's clear that there's more to it. And I would first know what that is. Mm. Well, we usually try to not really tell everyone the direct link He's to our family. Now. Give him a shovel. Give him, give him the shovel. Because usually that scares them away. When... Six feet straight down. You like under- juggalos. You understand. Yeah. Yes. Like, like juggalos. juggalos. <laughs> juggalos are a great and fine family. But the moment you even mention Insane Clown Posse, <laughs> everybody's turned away. <laughs> Christ. You're not wrong. So that doesn't point. mean I'm going to join the Insane Clown Posse. <laughs> right. So really we would rather you just take part in our family and... Obtain the unity that you get from it and the wholeness that you'll feel within yourself before you learn all there is to know about us. Dude, Zeke is fun. 
Listen, I you know that you drank the <laughs> damn Fago. <laughs> I. In the past, I have been victim to some pretty. Well. Unorthodox, let's say, groupings. And they started similarly. It's all fine and well enough until someone gets hurt, and I personally oppose that idea. I don't expect anyone to get hurt today, but I can't know for sure. I understand your hesitation, and that's quite all right. You don't have to become a part of our family. We would just like to invite you to experience all that you can before you truly make that decision for yourself. But if there is no swaying you to continue, then I will no longer try, if that is what you wish. No, sway me all you like. I'm here to learn. But I need to learn everything before I can be sure. Swag. Try before you buy. Yeah, I need a demo reel. <laughs> I didn't. Hey, hey, well, can you move it? Like, I, I feel so bad. Can you get the move? Okay, I really need to pee. Sorry, y'all. Right, <laughs> the cat was sitting on my lap for like five minutes. It's been torture. Yeah, go for it, dude. Definitely release yourself. I can't think of anything else right now. Okay. So we're going to cut. Yeah, cool. We're give going give to, it a moment. We'll, we'll give it a moment so I can process some stuff and maybe continue to speak to Dr. Hart. But we're going to cut to Rayton and Andrix. Okay. Who have gone up to introduce themselves to the beautiful, beautiful Amaran. Gorgeous. Delectable. Yeah? Yeah. Would you say voluptuous I don't know if I want to get that sexual <laughs> I, it's a joke I just Andrix is very fond of beautiful drows because there's probably not like too many of those I mean on the surface maybe yeah maybe in the under no need to whisper the, the microphone can't pick <laughs> yeah, that up yeah. But there's probably more beautiful drow women underground in the Underdark where most drow are. Well, guess what? I'm not in the Underdark, so there's a lot of not beautiful drow people saying hello. Don't need the bow plays in the background. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, so I mean, I, uh, as Cameron is pip pissing, we're partying and he's pottying. Yeah. yeah. Good evening, Amaran. Good evening, Andrix. Andrix. Yes, Andrix Draveni. Hmm. Um. How might you be doing this this fine evening? Oh, I'm doing just wonderful. My. The great big family is here, and we're all enjoying a feast. Oh, family! Was I able to go up and talk to what's your face? No, that's, that's what we're that's doing right now. now. Oh, okay, cool. We're, yeah, so that's, that's what we're doing. I say, um, family, right. So, if you could give me a little more information on, on the family, I would be greatly Oh, it, it is... somewhat of a gift, you could say. A gift? Yes. It... This my, isn't Christmas. My, <laughs> I'm I'm not sure what you mean by Christmas. <laughs> that, that was out of canon. That was so canon. That was so out of canon. No, I mean I, I just say a gift. I who is this matriarch that you are bringing all these people into? No, I am the matriarch. That is my title. I am matriarch. Who's your deity? Man. Who's your deity? Mm. If you could give me a specific name, I might be able to pledge myself further uh, to this cause. Well, if you would just say the name I'm expecting you to say, I can hurry and cut you down. Out of cannon. 
Well, my deity has many names. We'll go with... Crazy spider Bitch. I don't think that's the real name. The Seldarim, for now. Well, it, it just so happens that I've been I've been looking f- for uh, a group of people uh, to to try to spread my religion with. It, ha- it just so happens. <coughs> I know it seems cr- crazy, but I find an incredible fascination with Lolt. Mm. and um, I feel like that is definitely a deity I could get behind. So to speak, and then they kill you. Hey, hey, hey! You could really get behind, right? Hang on a second, Amaranth. There's no need to hide secrets. I am your friend. I am wanting the same things. No, I'm not. Hang on, let me see. Uh, so no, you're not. <laughs> So that's a... Do you get advantage for being a drow and lying about being a worshiper of law? That's true. Yeah! Yeah. That is oh, so much money! Oh my god. That's good. Okay. Hey, so this is going to go two ways. One, they kill you for worshiping law. Two, they also worship law and they love you. I, I just hit the critterist, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. She has her head in her palm. Looking at you, she goes. Yes, a nat twenty, Zeke. Nat twenty. Yes, definitely nat twenty. You. I'm going to take a guess. Take the guess. You did not grow up in the underground. I'm afraid. Not, my dear madam. Yes, I was born in the Underdark, but I did not spend much time there, no. I'm very, I'm, I'm very sad for that unfortunate scene. She places her hand on your forearm and says, Well, <laughs> I would like you to join our after party. Can I get my friends? friends? Do you mind if my friends come with? They are my closest. Friends. I've lost a lot of uh, like family members. And I, I, I want them to come to this family gathering. She nods and says, yes, you may bring your friends. The more people to come and be a part of our family, the better. My dear madam, I thank you. Are you guys holding hands? Sort of. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. We, we were... They're acting out the scene, man. It's not gay if it's role play. <laughs> <laughs> um, remind so, me not to play D&D with you anymore. <laughs> Amaranth has just invited you to join the after party. We Whenever are... and wherever that is. Mm. Um, should I, like... Hide my symbol of Peronius somewhere. Should I like you go should put it die. away? Oh, uh, how about my war paint or my tattoo symbolizing Heronius? She, I'm gonna Get say, I'm gonna say no, because from the environment that these people are creating, it is extremely friendly. There's no hostilities, and you can very well tell some of the people in here, not all of them do worship other gods and have maybe tattoos or clothing that signify that they do follow this god. It's like a mixer. Okay. So um, maybe they it's like, like to join. It's like the, um, uh, like every year in high school they have the freshman like introductory party and mm-hmm. all the freshmen go and like. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. people from all walks of life. There, No one is berating anybody that's a any lot kind. of roads it's very nice a lot of roads. so I'm, I'm openly showing my symbol my yeah, symbology yeah yeah my... maybe not like look i worship heronius well, but I mean, maybe like you just i've got a have symbol hanging off of my belt yeah you just kind of have it and tattoos and war paint yeah. and all that going kind of going on so 
a no. cult mixer. That's a new one. No, it really <laughs> isn't. That kind of happens a lot, Zeke. Like people die that way. It's a real thing. I, I think I think that's the joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that's funny. That's good. Um, cool. Um, so yeah, hey, we we've been invited to. Sweet, we were given a D twenty four. Dude, that's lit. Dude, yeah. what? Can I see my it? lit. Yeah, can I go. see it? Yeah. A D twenty four? Yeah, my friend uh <laughs> Josh. Josh Davis gave it to me. Oh, that's cool. Okay, yeah. That is pretty weird. Where's the twenty four? There's not a twenty four. Are you sure? I don't know what die it is. It looks like a D twenty four to me. It could be a D eighteen. Yeah, it is. It's a D18. Oh, it's still good. Interesting. Okay. Well, yeah, you can continue. Would you like to continue to ask Amaranth questions? Would you like to talk to her as well? Clearly, she sees well, her with Andrix, and I mean, no. yeah, m- most of what I wanted no. to talk about was has already been discussed. So I guess. Hold on, guys. I we got to pause. We did we crash? We did crash. How long ago? No, it's just an ad. Oh, yeah. wait, why? Yeah. We crashed. Oh, my God. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, basket burn. We, we can... We're, we're streaming again now. We are? Yeah, we're good. Okay, so... That's that, the microphone. That's my... Okay, cool. Yeah. So we're good. And the, the other one is the desktop audio, which shouldn't be doing anything. Right. So... Let's turn it out right there. Cool. Sorry, guys. OBS crashed. Uh, no big deal. I am alive! We noticed pretty much exactly as it happened. So... It's not too bad. I'm thankful. But, uh... Oh, yeah. Boom! It's starting. <laughs> what? What? Do you have a problem? Dab on him. Are you stepping to me? I'm a snack. A snickety snack? A snick snackety doodle. So, yes. Okay, so you yeah, have been, the three of you, by proxy of Andrix, yeah, has sorry been about that. directly invited Whoa. to this Whoa. after party that's going to be happening. Uh, well, how should we dress? Like semi formal or. In my armor? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely in my armor. You don't wear armor, do you? He does. He's got. I wear. He has leather, leather armor. That's about. Oh no! Ah! Okay. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> what? What? You, you, gotta, you gotta watch out with the screaming and the padding and whatnot. There's a microphone. You knocked over my chopsticks. It was an accident. What do you need to scream? Yeah, Bloody mo- motherfucking murder. You got me. I smell what you're stepping in. I'll scream even louder. Um, yes. Thank you. Can't so, the festivities go on for the night. Is there anything you guys want to particularly do? Talk uh, we need to, to look, anybody? We need to look for what's your face. Talk to anybody? Well, play uh, any games? Do anything? How how far away are we from town? Like, can I leave and come back by by the time this is like before this is over? Possibly, yeah. It's not. It's just outside. Okay. Well, I want to go find that guy mm-hmm. and get the name of this girl. Okay. So, I'll be back. So you you leave you pat her out. Yeah. With your tiny feet, people feet, which is not yeah, true because you're a human. I've got um, normal people feet. You've got normal people feet, That's normal right. peopling around, um, and you decide to go back to that to the village to possibly find this guy's daughter. Yeah. Or find this guy so you can get information about uh, his daughter. First thing I do if I need to leave, go to the bar, ask the bartender what his name was, uh, and that I'm one of the detectives hired to find his daughter. I need to know her name or his name or where he lives. Blah blah. The. Okay. You go to the bartender. The man is not in the bar. Okay. You you go to the bar and you go to the bartender and you do what? Well, I'm probably not being heard very well on the microphone. Let me get over here. Um, I'm going to ask the man. Uh, oh, first I'm going to introduce myself as one of the detectives hired mm-hmm. to find this man's daughter. But as my drow friend made very clear before, uh, he didn't like us very much. We, we neglected to get. His name or the daughter's name. Or her appearance. Or her appearance. Just anything you can tell Liter- me. Anything me. useful about being a detective. A- anything you can tell me would be amazingly helpful. He, he, uh, he, he says, yes, I 
I was I overheard that exchange. Uh, the man you're looking for is Grommel. He is he just lives actually across the street from here and two houses down. You don't have to know the name of the daughter, do you? Uh, no, I do not. I okay. have not seen her. Thank you very much. I'm gonna give him a gold for you know, being you toss nice. Toss him a gold, and he's he's cleaning out a glass. And he just puts it under. Continues to clean the glass. Uh, and I'm gonna go meet Gravel at his house too. Oh. Houses down. His name is Gravel now. Okay. <laughs> his name is Gravel. Gravel, yes. Uh, Gravel to his house. That's good. You you go to his house. Yes. Um, there. There is like candlelight or lantern light on inside, like from the window you can see. So it seems like someone's awake. Mm. Knock knock, detective. Detective. I knock. There's no response. I am Rayton, one of the detectives you've hired. I need to speak with you very soon, sir. Knock knock. There's no response. Is the door locked? No. I'm going to open the door and announce myself coming in. You open the door and you announce yourself. And you hear... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like he didn't... It's not like he's just bar- I mean, he's kind of just barging in. But... For he, a good cause. Yeah. You open the door, it creaks open, and you, and you announce yourself. I'm Rayton, one of the detectives hired to find your daughter. I came to ask you about information. Yes. That's good. I do that. You hear something clatter in the back room and the back door fly open and like slam against the house. I'm a run. And I've got athletics, so I'm good at that. What? I'm sorry. I fill me in. I, I said that's my fault. I'm ordering pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I went to, I went back to town and found Gravel, the father of the daughter we're trying to hunt. His name is Gravel. It's not Gravel. It, it's he like Graggle. It's Grommel. Grommel. So his name is Grommel. Grommel. Uh, Grommel. Yeah, so I went to his house. No answer. I, I, I went in and announced myself. And uh, when I went in, he ran out the back door. So I am currently in pursuit. Okay, cool. So in pursuit. So, so that's cool. I'm still at the... You're still at the banquet, and so is... I'm still, um, I'm still not eating. Um, one thing I do want to mention is... And you guys want something. <laughs> you could have mentioned that before I made ramen. But yes, pizza's nice. I'm, I'm sorry. I just... We can do... Yeah, we can do food. Yeah, I'm doing six cheese pizza. Do you guys want something? Just pepperoni. Just yeah. pepperoni. Just straight pepperoni's cool, yeah. Oh, good. That's it. Yeah. If you I mean, guys want to contribute, you can. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you... I have no money. Me neither. I understand this. Yeah. So if you want to just <laughs> yeah, pay a couple I'll have the cover. That's fine. Um, I'll give you, like, uh, Chase Quick Pay or something, what you need. That's fine. Give me just yeah. a second. So, yes, uh, I'm still so at the banquet. I, so is everyone still eating? Yeah. I mean, really? people are, like, some people Slow are wrapping down. up and, like, they're going to do other okay. stuff, like play games and talk to other people. But we're, 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 Start cornholing. Yeah, they're going to start playing oh, cornhole. Yes. Uh, Ready to cornhole. But, Rayton, uh, you... Start you athletics after in pursuit guy. in pursuit. You run through the back, which is into the kitchen, and you see a man on the floor. Is Whoa. it gravel? It is gravel. No gravel. No. My God. Is he dead? There is a dagger in his chest. He's very dead. He is, he is quite dead. Take the dagger, wrap it up in any spare cloth I have, mm-hmm. and continue out the door. That is, that is a thing. He he just kind of picks up weapons. <laughs> Me? Yeah. It's a murder weapon. It's evidence. I mean, yeah, but you've also picked up like a whole bunch of other weapons too. I picked I up mean, a like spear. One weapon. And I picked up a spear. You also picked up the stone sword. I do have the, the magical stone sword. That's true. Yeah. I got it because it's magical. You have that. Yeah. yeah. Um, you go in pursuit out into the out into the darkness behind his house. Is there any sign of the duke? Uh, it was like there's like there's footsteps leading in a direction through the mud. Like Pretty out towards like the forest. Then I go that way. Okay, you pursuit that way. Yeah. Uh, I want you to actually roll a d20 to see if you can continue to be able to find them. Can I add insight to that? Yeah. Five. Five. You. If you're tracking, it's survival, but it doesn't make a difference. I rolled five. Because it's it's a that, that's a wisdom check, isn't it? Yeah. It'd still be a five. Yeah. So yeah, he's 
you chase him you chase after where the footsteps lead for a while but then not too long after you get into the forest you kind of lose track of wherever this person okay am i able to backtrack will that take much too much time no it will not okay well then i'm gonna wait it won't take too much time Mm. so i can backtrack and try to find the footsteps again or is he gone he's uh, he's gone okay i'm gonna go back to the house i meant backtrack as in get back to the house i'm gonna go back to the house Mm -hmm. um gravel's dead yes so i'm gonna get a dishcloth put over his face or something like sorry dude you don't have no spare the dying do you no. No, he right. not. I have did your you get, wounds. Did you get more spells when I you got to mid level, by the way? I didn't. I, I, I leveled up twice without getting any spells, which is stupid. But um, I'm actually going to explore the house and try and find any diaries, any letters, anything that would have her name on it, like her room, anything of hers yeah. that I could use. Um, so you walk back to like the main... Uh, the living room mm-hmm. of the sort photo yeah. photo albums stuff like that there there is there is a painting of it's a small portrait of this girl and her father she stands just below his height and he was about your height mm-hmm. so he, she's just a little bit shorter than you she has dark long brown hair okay um and fair skin fair skin okay eye color any dis- any distinctive markings on her that I uh, can make out? N- no. Okay. Nothing like a scar or anything like that. She's just kind of... And now I have incentive to go back to the party, find her, be like, Hey, yo, your dad's dead. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Um, in this in this photo, she's... Wo- or in this... Portrait. Portrait. She is wearing a nice, like, orangish-red dress. But, I mean, you don't know when the portrait was yeah. painted so she might or might not even does wear the it. man seem younger and like significantly younger in the painting than it is now no okay um i'd also like to examine the dagger that was embedded in the man's chest uh you take a look at this dagger and it's honestly just a normal dagger nothing special there's there's nothing special about it mm, okay. not, a, not the sacrificial dagger you were kind of hoping for just I, I, maybe a marking or, or, or like on written it. inscribed on it is this is from the cult <laughs> yeah right if Pro- lost please return to address yeah <laughs> property of amaranth <laughs> like. okay um well i'm gonna go ahead and mental note chick's face mm-hmm. um make a small prayer for gravel who is now dead rest in pieces um go back to the party you can go back to the party. Uh, those two men that greeted you. Maybe then. I should report this first. I'm gonna report this first. <laughs> so I'm not seen leaving the house in the middle of the night. Yeah, like, there's I mean, a dead person. Yeah, because how that would look is you went to the bar. Hey, where can I find this dude? We're supposed to find his daughter. And then you go to his house. And you, you stab him in the chest. And then you stabbed him. And, and you have him, the murder weapon. And you have the murder weapon on you. And did not inform anyone that this man was murdered. Yeah, I'm gonna go inform local authorities. Okay. You go up to a guard who's just kind of chilling. Hey, yo, um, so two things. One, you look great in that uniform. Like, seriously, good for you. Two, there might be a dead person in the house back there. And no, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to tell him a story. Okay. You, t- you, you tell him a story, and he says, all right. And he just kind of nonchalantly gets up, and he starts walking to the house. Okay, good. I leave. I go back to the party. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You go back to the party. The two men that greeted you whenever you came in, and the two men that said bye whenever you left, they greet you again. And you go in. Okay. Um, I want to find first. First thing on my list is find the girl. Mm-hmm. Look over faces, height, whatever. Just find her. Okay. I would like you to roll. It's gonna be Amaran. No, no, it's not because Amaranth is a drop. I'm an idiot. Uh, 12 plus. I mean, that's it. 12. 12? Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Plus pro? Uh, are you proficient in. What would it be? Insight? Investigation? Uh, per- perception, maybe? Perception. I'm going to go with perception. Are you proficient I in perception? I don't have perception. It's a, it's a 12. Okay, 12. It's a 12. You you are coming over and you, you don't find the woman. Damn. Or the girl. I didn't get any names or anything, did I? No. No, you didn't. You got Grommel. Grommel. Um, What's his name? I would like to go up to Amaranth and say, excuse me, would, would it be, would it be, um, 
too much of an issue if I was able to get up on the podium for a moment and make an, a very small announcement. There, there was an accident back in the town, and I believe that somebody here needs to know about it. I just, I'm having trouble finding her on my own. She says, oh, what? of course, if there's been an accident, we, we want anyone who is involved or is related to know. So go ahead. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get up on the, uh, on the podium, clear my throat, and kind of... Make sure they know what's happening. Oh and, yeah, you uh, project your, you're gonna project your voice enough. Yeah. They're probably still in E Day yeah. or whatever doing yeah. um talking to Zeke. First thing I do is ask if there's a daughter of Gra Grovel? Grommel. Grommel. If there's a daughter of Grommel here at the moment. Nobody raises their hands yeah. or says They're all fucking brainwashed. They are they are. Well, Welcome also, back, Zeke. Also, here's the thing. We don't need to find his daughter. He's dead. Yeah, but she still deserves to know. All right, and nobody raised their hand. So we'll just, it, just go just, just, just listen. Okay, so as a group of people who appreciate family and life and all this, I believe it's appropriate for everybody to know that there was an accident in town today and a local man has passed away. This man was very nice to me and my compatriots here. Upon our entrance... And there he corrected it. That that's the <laughs> And it's, I believe it's only fair that he gets a proper at least a moment of silence. So uh Amaranth, she stands up and she holds up her glass. And you know, people join in with holding up her glass. You and they said in Delightful memory of Gravel. Yeah, in in in, in memory of Grommel. And everyone goes Ah, and they just take a drink. Okay. So that didn't work. I'm gonna step down, thank her, and go back to the, the, the go back to the OG. Oh, you know, you already choky. Choky daddy? That's it. That's, it. Okay. Uh, that's all I really need to do. Is there anything else you guys want to do? Maybe play some cornhole? I don't know. I want to ask Amaranth if she wants to play cornhole. She says yes. She want, she'll play cornhole with you. Awesome. Do Sorry, you want to play against her or as a team? Let's do team. Yeah, teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah, sorry. So I you wasn't and Amaranth team. team up. Do do you guys maybe want to face off against dude, Dolger Hart? Dude, me and Dolger Hart. Me and Dolger Hart will kick your ass. You know what? <clears throat> the power of love is on our side. We are okay. First off, we I met her like an hour. God, ago. an anime on my side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we're both strength characters throwing things. That's right. Good point. So I mean, that happens. He challenges like, me. I go over to Dolger. You're okay. trying to be accurate. All right. I'm going to walk over after. You, 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 so it, It's going to be a cornhole check. That's what okay. we're going to do. Okay. It's a cornhole so check. After that happens, I'm going to approach Dolger and say, I've got a very important mission for us both. Are you ready? What do you need? This could mean life and death at the end of this night. That bastard has challenged me to cornhole. I need a partner. <laughs> <laughs> That was a really like <laughs> deadly situation, and Doctor Hart's like, "What do you need? Like, I need to win this." I am ass. ready. I need to win a cornhole. <laughs> What's the reward again? Satisfaction of winning. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Grand power. The strong guy handshake, you know, clasp hands and flex. Like, of bragging this. over those you beat. <laughs> bragging rights. I reach into yeah. my bag and like grip the crystal. Like I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We've accepted your challenge. You know, like, there's like small. What, what is the? What is the kind of? They're like bean bags. It's like bean bag, but I'm trying to think. Of burlap. It's a burlap. It's a small burlap bean bag yeah. filled with gravel. Yeah. Small pieces of this dead man. No. Okay. No. Not <laughs> like grain or seeds or something. Yeah. yeah. Some. Yeah. Light. Who's gonna go first? Uh, roll initiative. <laughs> roll initiative. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, 16, 17. Wow. Wow, that's a six. So I believe Rayton no, goes first. No, it's not a six you anymore. You got a six. It's a seven. I never updated my initiative with my new dexterity. So I believe Rayton goes first. Twelve. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and say it. Yeah. I don't care that you broke your elbow. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Rayton does get to go first. Okay. I'm going uh, to stretch a little bit. Work my hammies, you know, get my shoulders loose. Work your hammies. And make a little toss. Natural 20. Oh my toss. God. All right. 
No. Into no. the cornhole, right in. You know, nothing but net. So <laughs> no contact. So are you just gonna throw it, or are you gonna be badass? I'm gonna I'm, I'm clear my throat. Look straight at him. And go. Watch this. Turn around. Over my shoulder. <laughs> you over your shoulder, and it just whoosh, right into the hall of the board. Did I tell you I was college cornhole king? <laughs> <laughs> hey. And, so I grew up in a pretty wealthy family. I, this is the only solos I have for all those huge parties throughout the years. I'm pretty good at this game. This is a family sport. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> so, and, and Amaranth sees that and she just... Second natural 20 of the night? <laughs> yeah. Cornhole. She, 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 she says, oh, good. Very good. No one else is good. You are. <laughs> stupid. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> call him. Call him. <laughs> so... She, it's now her turn. She, you know, gets ready. Oh my god! No! She's a, uh, she also gets a natural 20. And she <laughs> says, I'll do you one better. Oh. She, she turns around and walks another 20 paces back away from where she has to be stand, from where she needs to be standing at the least. She turns around and she just kind of... She turns around and she just kind of... You gotta she, say it into the microphone, she, man. She it turns around work. and puts it into her left hand. She looks back, she goes, my not dominant hand. <laughs> and she just, whoop. <laughs> it flies back. It bounces off of Rayton's head and lands <laughs> <laughs> into the hole. You know, I touched it last, so technically it's my point. It's, no. one, it's no. one to one. Yeah. I, I, you know, give her a small golf clap and a little bow. Impressive, my lady. Impressive. Told your heart. You know, I throw things for a living. <laughs> oh, no. Mostly axes. <laughs> He's going to roll lower than a five. Yeah, he's going to get a one. Six! I did not get close. lower than a five. <laughs> um, am I proficient in cornholing? <laughs> is it an improvised weapon? Were you a prostitute at any point? <laughs> it's, it's, it's made to it's be thrown. It's made to be thrown. I can get, I get proficiency for that. So that becomes a 12. Damn. So you throw it, it 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 lands on the back of the board and then just kind of slides down into the hole. Hey. <laughs> okay, Andrix. Well, I don't happen to be as uh, elegant with cornholing. <laughs> I'm a little sloppier. So it's two and a half. I mean, that's not yeah, bad. Yeah, you you he to you toss it, and you can and add it. dex to a throw. Yeah. You can. You, so f you're good. 19. You, you you throw it and it and it it just kind of it hits the fucking lip and falls in. So it's two two. Wow! Everyone got it in. Everyone got it in. Great it. Uh ooh, that's a. So you turn around again. You get cocky. No, no, I didn't. I was either like like about to throw it, turn and start talking, kind of just lob it, and I miss. Because that would be a nine. Yeah, you missed. Yeah. So you throw it, and it just kind of bounces off the side. It hits mm. the side and slinks off. Mm. 24 years of being in a battlefield would do that to you. Excuses. <laughs> excuses. Excuses. So, Chief, Amaranth. Oh, natural one. She she goes you know when you throw it, and it goes the other direction? <laughs> she, go she goes to toss it. But let's go of it slightly too early, and it falls and it lands in your goal. Hey! They get a point. <laughs> <laughs> I look and go, thank you, my lady. Blasphemy! <laughs> That's what that is. Three to two. Oh. Doldrahar. High five. Doldrahar. Hey. This and yet the invention of the high five. <laughs> uh, Doldrahar is going to uh, baseball, like reel it up, get his knee up high, you know. It's and then very gently high. lob it for a 12. Yeah, it lands in again. So you get another goal. What's the AC of this cornhole? The AC of this cornhole. <laughs> what, is, what is the cornhole AC here? You get a point. That's 4 2. Andrix. Shall we? 14. Yeah. You okay. throw it and it makes it in. It's 4 3. Okay. Rate it. Oh, that's going to be a 16. Yeah, you make that. You throw it in. It goes in. That's 5-3. What are we playing to? Oh, uh, we're you're all going to throw three. <clears throat> okay, that was my last one. Yeah. Amaranth is going to throw her. Yeah, she it. throws it, you know, with style. So 5-4. And, and it lands in. If it's 5-4. You... Dolterhar. Dolterhar. Man, I feel bad for anyone who misses these. 11. 
Yeah, you made it. Oh my god. So it's an AC of 10, probably. Wait probably. a minute. You, you, you use your hit to... He's like not just dexterity. It's a throwing. Weapon. He's proficient. If you're proficient in throwing, in throwing weapons. weapons, I mean, he's gonna add his proficiency. Oh, so oh you're gonna add your God. dex to it. Throwing weapons are always strength unless the weapon can also be used with dex. I think is what it was. It's yeah, it's fine. It, so. It's it's a this is a burlap bag. You can throw it with dex. Yeah, I mean it's 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 light. I would say. Yeah. So. Yeah, you made it. Even Welcome even if it, even if I have to use dexterity, it's a ten. It's six four. Yeah, six four. Your turn, Andrix. Darn. You have to get a two pointer somehow. Ooh. I, I don't two point. Not not natural critical. I wouldn't. Yeah, no. No. So you throw it. It, it it's six five. They beat you guys by one point. You know, Amaranth is like, good game, good game. I am, I am steaming next to Amaranth. She 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 comes she just pats your back a little bit. She says it's okay. We'll get him next time. Hold me more. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let go. <laughs> Never let go, Jack. <laughs> Don't let go, Jack. <laughs> Psych, bitch. No, sorry. Psych thought. <laughs> you, you, you thought. thought. So oh, you guys beat Amaranth and Andrix at a game of cornhole. I I am mad. I am thoroughly upset. Yeah. So. We're the best cornballs around. You it, both get a point of respect. It is now time, okay, for bragging rights. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now you can hold that power over people's heads. Yeah. Okay, if we're having a massive battle where we're literally like all dying from this grand creature, and then Cam in his dying breath is like, "I want your ass in cornhole," and then he <laughs> dies. Yeah. Like, I'll be so mad. <laughs> yeah. I just want your ass. Note to self: last, last, yeah, you last get, statement. Yeah. You get, a, you get, a, you get a point of respect. Both of you. So from, from it's, Amaranth? You just get respect for winning. Yeah. Respect. And you can't really respect is just a, a, a stat that doesn't really do anything. If I you have, remember what that point of respect for, is for, you could probably bring it up. He's got a cam respect. I have yeah, one he's got cam, a cam respect. respect. Yeah. It's right. respect, not respect. Yeah. I wrote respect. So really? note to self. It, last I, words. Oh, this is gonna be last words. I beat your ass in cornhole. I whooped I whooped your ass in cornhole. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I put R E S P E K respect. Yeah, so. R E S P E K. Find it what it means to me. To me. To Cam. To, to Cam. There we go. Put your ass in cornhole <laughs> and then die. And then dies. Like yeah. I can just imagine being an old man. You're already dead. Be like so. <laughs> the, party, <laughs> the after party. <laughs> yeah, the party goes on into the night, and it's time for the after party. Oh, this is gonna be lit. The after party is gonna be lit. So the, the three of you and. A group of guests who have been cordially invited by Amaranth herself. Except for us. Ooh, you're a plus two. Yeah. You're a plus two. <laughs> plus two party member of friendship, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so, the... I need you to not freak out. This group of people and everyone, you get led into the farmhouse. Is there a girl here? And into the cellar. <laughs> and the cellar... It's lit. It's not dark. It's not spooky. There's two ways this can go. One is really good, one is really bad. I'm scared. I am thoroughly scared. We Happy are Happy Halloween. To... Okay, two things. Okay. One, are going to be some kind of human sacrifice or just a wheel of torture or something? Is there a literal The other one is going to be a sex dungeon, and I, I, I'm scared. <laughs> Either of those things is, like, thoroughly not okay. What I'm saying, is there a summoning circle? Zeke is with you guys as well. Okay. Hi, Zeke. Yeah. Zeke is going to kill us. Yeah, you guys go into the cellar. Yeah. Hey, it's, there, there's, like, there's like barrels us, of, like, I don't know, grain, maybe mead, yeah. whatever it is these people fucking do for a living. Some honey. Yeah, something like that. Oh, in um, and, and, like, the back, like, corner, there's a doorway that Amaranth is leading everyone to. And yeah. she opens the door. She's and, trying to hex door. And just kind of motion people in. I would like to be one people, of the last. People ones. start to funnel in. I'll go. I will go. Andrix, are you going to go? I'm going yeah. to go last, take the door for her, and gesture her to enter before me, you know, after you, of course. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'm do polite. it. I'm polite. I, 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 I am a nobleman, yeah. Yeah, I, I am of noble yeah. blood. I need to hold it. Okay. So, everyone walks in, and you go last, and you say, I'll hold the door. After you. And you go in. Shut it, lock your window. No. <laughs> she, she goes in and lock your party in there? Like, <laughs> they get, uh, screw them. I, I mean, I'll live. You, uh, you walk in after her, and you close the door behind you. Is there something I can use to wipe the door open? 
Like, can I put a piece of cloth in front in front of the little closing mechanism so it like shuts? But it's oh, not it's just locking. like a wood, like door. There's it's, no, it's just, it's there's no. Lo- it's just a hinged okay. wooden door. Cool. Well, it doesn't. Then I will follow suit. I guess. That's cool. Okay. Um, you walk into this tunnel, is what it is. It's it's oh, so much battery. It's been dug out. Not recently. It kind of looks like it's been padded with stone and shit to actually be a normal functioning tunnel, as opposed to some creepy, extremely dank, dark tunnel that you were probably expecting. <laughs> I don't know. Dank is pretty fun. <laughs> and it com- it comes out into a room that has pillars kind of going up in it. And it goes up to a altar of sorts, where everyone kind of walks in, and there's pews and stuff set up. And Amaranth walks up behind this altar or whatever, mm-hmm. and motions for everyone to sit down. Um, I look at the chair pew first. The pew first. Mm-hmm. Just it's just a, just a cushion. It's just a pew. It's a wooden pew. I lift the cushion. There's no cushion. It's wood. Okay, right. There's right, no right. cushion either. Yeah, it's just right. a... I sit on the pew. Silently, mentally praying to... You Herodias sit on the pew, time. and all of a sudden, your entire body's eaten alive. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's <laughs> a not, pew of devouring. It's not a pew of devouring. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in a wood chip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, it's not... Like, you, you just... You just... You just fold up like a chair into the fucking seat, and you're gone. It flips over, and there's, you... like, another seat, but you're gone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <it's> just... <laughs> like um, Indiana Jones with the revolving fucking oh, fireplace. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you sit down, and Amaranth, she sits there, and she says, Welcome to our after party. There's no festivityness. In this room, like drinks or food right. or anything I, of gonna, that kind. Probably raise my hand and go. Is there like cornhole in the back or something? Are we gonna keep playing? No, we <laughs> already played our game of cornhole, and I don't. Frankly, I don't want to play against a champion again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, stop! <laughs> he says, "I'm. I have decided that all of you here are. I don't want to say worthy. That seems too." Exclusive. Exclusive. So he's going to die. That seems like it's mu- more of a privilege than it really is to be welcomed into our family. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, someone's at the door. All right. It's, and I don't want okay. I've got to our family to seem exclusive. I want to welcome you all into the into uh, the fray. That might be if pizza, you so we should take a. Yeah. Let's. All right. Hey. hey what's up? <clears throat> pizza break. Yeah. I guess pizza break sounds good. Well, I mean, good two more players just walked away, so we had, we need to wait. Anyway. Yeah, we're gonna wait for them. Yeah. Anyway. We need the pizza. I, I want. I want. What is that? It's a coin from Aruba. Aruba. <clears throat> what's Aruba? Aruba is a province of the Netherlands in the Caribbean. I regret asking. No. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's actually a cool shit coin. Yeah, I've never been there. I just found it on the coin star machine. It's, oh. a, it's a square coin. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> a square coin? What is this? And I was like, what the fuck is Aruba? Seisha, so we Googled it, yeah. Yeah, and then we Googled it, and Seisha was like, Aruba's not a real place, you know that. And I'm like, bet it's not a real place. You don't make fake money out of metal for a not real place. Oh, yeah, uh, my boss. Like, uh, that was like the most. That was, that was I knew it as part of a song, so I knew it was real. I know my Aruba. Huh? No, Aruba, Jamaica. Jamaica. Okay, yeah. Hey, honey, yeah. honey. I smell what you're sniffing. In. Yeah. Hey, so how you guys doing? We're we're taking a, a little D and D break real yeah. quick as we get our food situation set up. Um, no punch or pie shenanigans. What does that mean? Uh, it means that there are shenanigans going on because there is no punch and no pie here at the after party. Oh. You Where? Have a, Zeke, you have a very good point. Um, I'm still being thankful that we didn't die from the food in the party itself. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to take the after party punch? 
No. Ooh. No. Come on. You sure? You know, that's one-fifth vodka. You don't want after-party punch? It's, it's half vodka, one-fourth bleach, one-fourth, like, coffee. The blood of virgins, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's definitely yummy berry juice, plus extremely deadly... Neurotoxin. Neurotoxin. Yeah. You can't survive. What the heck? What? Yeah, the last dollar was in coins. So you gonna count it out? You, you think the Domino's dude gypped you out of a dollar? 80. 99. It's actually a dollar in coins. Why would he not? It's his job. You know what? If he didn't give you a dollar in What's coins, his benefit of having like you would call and, and you'd be like, hey, this dude didn't give me my six cents. All right, well, he's fired. Thank you. <clears throat> six cents is a good movie. Cinnamon ties, right? The cinnamon twists. <laughs> Can I, have a, can I have a twist? You can. Yes, you can have a twist. We gotta get back to the game, though. Oh, boy. So. Uh, mm. You? I'm not gonna talk to you in my mouth. Yeah, don't do that. You're at the after party. Quote unquote. But so far, there's not really a party going on. It's, it's like it. Sunday church so far. Yeah, pretty much. Amaranth, she says, I would like to further welcome you into our family. For those of you who might be faint of heart or not necessarily willing to continue to be a part of our family, we do not mind you excusing yourselves. You can always come back another time. Yeah, um... Freaky. Assume I'm here as a bodyguard for another person. Can I be here just to make sure nothing goes down with my person, but not be part of the family myself? I do want to mention yeah, specifically. Have... What? So I talked with Amaranth, mm -hmm. and I talked about Lolf, mm -hmm. and she invited me to the after party. Yes. I am relaying this information to my trusted compatriots. I'm sure that happened at some point. Yes, okay. yes but I just want to. In that case, I'd like to say yes. We're all good. Okay. Knowing that, I am very Cause... interested in everything you have to say, and I'm not. I'm I, most right now. My body is 50% lying that I'm happy, and 50% trying not to burst into flames. <laughs> so mm. long as you got a sword on you, I don't think Erroneous cares. I've got. A heavy crossbow, my sword, a spear, and now a bloody dagger. No, the spear broke, remember? Oh, yeah. I don't have a spear anymore. You don't have the spear. You do have the sword. The other sword. You do have the, like, broken off-ended sword. The magical stony sword. The that, magical stony sword. Yeah. That these guys missed out on. Ha. Huh. 30% punch, 40% punch, 20% virgins, 10%. What? He's talking about the, he's talking Poison. About the punch. Poison. Yeah. That was the last word. Is that seven cheese? Six, so, six cheese? I there, in my face. No one no one here gets up and leaves the room. Everyone here they they've probably been around the family for weeks or months maybe. Maybe even it's their first night and they're not really they don't really know if there is anything going on. But no one leaves. No one leaves. And the party, um, none of you get up and leave or attempt to leave. No, I'm guessing. Hey, I would actually like to look around the room I'm in right now and mm -hmm. see if the girl is here. Yes. She is her? She is. Okay, I would like to sit near her. Yeah, and lean over and whisper, Your dad is dead. <laughs> no, no. I, I, like, when there's quiet spots, I'll introduce myself and be kind, you know. Hmm. But whatever, yeah, I'm being, I'm being close and kind to her. She's not sitting in the pews. She's up, uh, up the stairs near Amaranth. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, indeed. Yeah. Well, then, I will make mental note of her, find eye contact with one of them, whoever I meet first, and, like, gesture to the girl up by the stairs, like, that her bitch. Okay. Can you get me some? Uh, yeah. Jamaica. Thank you. Amaranth says, now that none of you have decided to leave us, uh, I would like to further provide the information. I'm sure all of you are wondering who exactly... 
is our fam great big family a part of? What greater purpose are we trying to serve? Well, I would say it all began when I was born. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, hmm, how, how am I going to word this? Do you want pepperoni or cheesesteak? Can I get one of each? Yeah. Mm. Um, Kyle, grab me a sprite while you're over there. I would like to provide the information you all are wondering. Actually, I'll take questions now, if you'd like. Andrix. What's her name? As I said earlier, we're going to go with the Seldarian for now, but, uh, you know. Can I roll a religion check now that I've heard that? I already know. Sure. Uh, that'd be a... Intelligence? Yeah, Religion, if you have it. I also, I don't have, I don't have religion. I probably should because I'm a religious 18? man, but... Being from a, a underground land that Dolgerhar you know as well as the ancient and original name of the dark spider queen Loth, Loth herself alright I'm gonna raise my hand and ask how soon would I be able to fully endure the benefits of, of my new family Offer up anything and everything you are willing to and sit through this ceremony and you will be a fully inducted member of our family. When you say offer, is it items of anything of wealth or? Material items you would like to add to the collective treasure. Uh, wealth that our family has so we can spend it as an ent as in one entity okay so you're like a normal church you're asking for that's for donations yeah mm -hmm. that was out of canon yeah yeah i'm sorry out of canon yeah what it's okay continue uh, oh, yeah. a couple people come down from the like stairs and they're coming around with like um plates is our girl one of them um, no. Ah. They're, uh, with plates, and one of them has, like, a box that you can put stuff in. Mm. It, it is literally offering anything. Gold, weapons, the clothes off your back. I will take what other, what, any random crap I have in my pockets out, so a pencil, some lint, mm -hmm. uh, and a single gold, gold, gold piece, and donate it. Any day. So... I put the gemstone in there. No. Uh, I mean, you already said that happened. Though. Yeah, I mean, right? imagine if you did. Yeah. That the, would be the hell that would ring. Yeah, really. Mm. So, it comes by you, Rayton. You put in some just kind of miscellaneous items and a gold piece in the tray. You see people as it passes around the room, placing handfuls of gold coins. Small weapons and little like necklaces, maybe oh, like, family. I'll, I'll do the dagger as well. You have dagger on your chamber. Right? Okay. Yeah. Um, everyone's kind of offering up things that mean something to them, valuable in some sort of way, even if it might not be necessarily valuable to the church. It means something. They're giving up a part of themselves to become part of this family. Mm -hmm. These people who really have nothing left in them. Hmm. Andrix. And Doldrahar, is there anything you would like to offer? I know the answer is probably no, but... So I'm going to reach into my pocket and pull out nothing. But when I put my hand into the bowl, I rustle things a little bit, just, just a tiny bit. Can I do like a sleight of hand to make it seem yeah. like I put coins in? Very high. And it's a 17. You're good. Yeah. Hendrix? No. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah. Lauren, you, you were really infatuated with her earlier. Oh. I don't I know. I pulled that out of the drawer. 
if that would like sway you in any way, form or fashion, but I'm not necessarily trying to make you give up anything. Stands up, takes off his shirt, and that time throws it all in. Gets naked. You like what you see, honey? I want to donate my body. <laughs> it's called sacrifice. I don't want to do that. Um, how much money do I have? I'm like twenty something gold. I'm going twenty six. Okay. Zeke, take it all, my love. <laughs> okay, Sorry, yeah. I can't log into the thing. <laughs> this is going to be fun. We'll have the opportunity to get it all back. I'm go- no, I'm going to place... I'm going to have two gold coins in my fingertips as I pull them out of my pocket. Place them in. Russell, and I'm gonna take three out. I need you a little sleight of hand for that. Oh fuck! So three. If you have sleight of hand, it's plus proficiency, plus dexterity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So plus seven. Fifteen. A fifteen. Yep. Oh yeah, you managed to pull out three coins after you put two in. And it goes around, and you know, people offer. Many things, putting them into the chest or whatever, in the, uh, on the plate. Take me, my love. And, it, and these people go back up to the altar area, and they just set the plates down on either end of the altar, the stone slab. And Amaranth raises her arms and she says, "Thank you, my children. Now, <laughs> you're welcome. I would like to commence our next step." into the induction of our family. All of you sad yourself. May we pl- pay in blood. She looks over to the girl who's been standing kind of behind her the entire time. Argo? Yes. Oh, it's Ar- going to be paid in blood. <laughs> she looks over to her, says something, and this girl just walks up to the altar and lays on it. All right. Yep. At this time, <clears throat> if I may, there's one more thing I'd like to give to the the family. I stand up and I begin to walk over towards Amaranth, unbuckling my sword. Unbuckling, like taking Un- it off of yourself. Unbuckling the she- the scabbard from my yeah. The weapon. And I hold it up, way. one hand on the handle, one hand on the scabbard, and I hold it up like this, and I say. To, de- to defend us all, to represent, to represent us defending ourselves from a world who may judge us. And I kneel, and I come up into a Krumpau and draw the sword and slash at Amaranth. Whoa! You don't need to kneel, you're already pretty short. Hmm. Okay. You slash at her. Roll. Uh, a total. She's also behind, like, half cover. If that matters. Well, I'd like to get into a position, like, where I'm offering it to her. You want to do half cover, I can still take the minus. It's fine. Okay. Uh, that'd be a, a plus two to her AC. Mm-hmm. So, keep that in mind as I tell you that I got a plus six, 22. We have to put down a cult leader. Wait, how'd you get a 22? I rolled a 16 plus 16 plus strength plus grow. Your to hit is plus 9. No, no, no. It's not plus 5 and plus 4. It's... What is the it? proficiency went up. It's plus 6 total. Oh, oh is that for your axe and for your sword? Yeah. Okay. No, it's it's for uh, my any any melee or throwing weapon, and then for any dexterity weapon. Okay. I just, I just keep them both on there. Okay. You might... You, oh my god! You just Tate doesn't you, like this. Come you on, just, man. You just yip, you just rip out the sword from its scabbard. You slash across it. It kind of cuts across your face. Mm-hmm. In most terms, as literally almost everybody would see it, mm-hmm. um, diminishing her beauty in the process. 
of slicing her face. Roll damage. So I know, you know, how not nice you were. <clears throat> uh, 11. 11 damage. Okay. There's one blow to her face. Yeah. That's a fourth of my HP. There's a fire. Uh, I have 16, uh, 60 right now. Christ. Amar yep. Amaranth, like, you know, stumbles back after being struck across the face, and she's holding her face. I will stand up and yell, no, with being half dramatic. She, she, I laugh. She composes herself as her blood is just coating her hand and running down her cool. face. I make the rest of my attacks. How dare you make me bleed my own blood? <laughs> and now for rest of the oh! crit. That's a crit. That's a crit, baby. Oh. Ooh, Amaranth is dead. Oh. Before, before he even stood up, she's going to die. So 12 plus 6 plus 2. Mm -hmm. So it's 20. 18, 20, plus 3, so 23 damage. <clears throat> and, on a crit, I get an extra attack. Oh my god. Because I have Great Weapon Master. 23. Imagine yeah. rolling yeah. a 19. Or 22, I mean. Yeah. Imagine rolling a 19 or 20 again. Uh, so 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 more. So 36 damage. 36 damage? <laughs> okay. Holy shit, by the way. Woo! So you, like, slash her robes. You know, it cuts through and kind of, like... She's bleeding. She's not having a good time. She, like, stumbles. And these people who are holding these pl platters and a few people from the actual group of people who have come in to this chamber with yeah. y'all all get up in arms about this. They get really upset. They're now going to attack you. Yeah. Hey, if anyone moved past me, I'm attacking them. There are three people up here. Four, including this girl. Mm -hmm. But she's not doing anything right now. She's laying on an altar. I mean... So three of these people are going to come up to you, including Amaranth herself. She might be standing back there. And I'm going to say five more people in the crowd stood up, mm -hmm. have all drawn weapons of some kind, or have concocted magical energy in their hands. I'm totally gonna do opportunity attack. Yeah, seriously, like, anyone can pass me are gonna get stabbed. So, and all of them start going to the altar. Cool. Both of you get one attack of opportunity. It's at least one. That That's all we need. 17. Okay, that hits. 15. Cur that hits. Cur yours, is, yours is surprise attack. Auto crit. Well, you're not in combat. There you go. Um, so that would be, that would be, and obviously I was sitting next to Cam. Uh, I did 11 damage. So somebody. 4 plus 1, 5. Uh, 9, and then, oh boy. Oh boy. Because this is crit too. Yeah, do it. Oh my Mama, god. 665. Six, Holy fuck, dude. What do I think about you? Is that doubled then? It, uh, it would be uh, 18 plus that. 18 plus 12 is 30. 35, 44 points of damage to one dude just with a dagger. You, you fuck that dude. He, you you stab the dude in the back, in the small of his back, paralyzing him, and he just collapses to the ground and dies. Okay. Boom. Again. And I did 11 damage to whoever was near me. Yes. He runs past. There are eight people standing around you, Doldrahar. Bring it on! We should go help Doldrahar. Oh. Doldrahar, I hope you know. I hope you know what you're getting yourself into. Okay, yeah, that. I hope you know what's going on, man. No, oh. but I, no, I actually shouted you, and I'm like, "What are you doing?" Do, do you respond? With an evil cat. I'm just killing some people. Yeah. <clears throat> I do what I do, man. It's, 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 it's whatever. I'm bringing an end to these spider queen servant scum. I actually, in, in a in a louder voice, just go, that seems fair. Yeah. <laughs> Which actually, could you give me a, a piece of cheese? Yeah. Okay. So no longer will my back melt under these rigid conditions. Okay. So, these people are going to attack you. Most likely. Yeah. Miss, miss. Uh, that's gonna hit you. 
uh, for six damage. That's also going to hit you for two damage. That's eight damage. And then someone is going to cast a cantrip. It misses. Okay. Amaranth is going It's alive to... somehow. She's alive. Definitely not happy. She points at you and casts Dominate Person. Oh my god. That's a wisdom check? Yes. One. You fail! Are you sure? <laughs> yes. I think even on a tie, she would win. So yeah, there's no way you can make that. Wow. That's incredible. Okay, well, our friend has not been dominated. By a woman. Sounds about right. That's not a first time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every, everyone else ceases attacking you. They... Position themselves around the altar after you have been thoroughly dominated. They're all yeah. gonna stab her to death. Oh my god. And Amaranth then uses the rest of her action to mock the shit out of you, and you know, some other things are gonna happen. She says, Pathetic. This is why men like you shouldn't even see the light of day so i've got a heavy crossbow and i'm in the background can i just you probably of... roll initiative at some point yeah, yeah that well, too go ahead roll initiative this is happening oh that's, like... that's cool 16. do i have any initiative bonus other than dex no just dex yeah, 16. bards get half their proficiency to it but that's it you're going to be in the place that is the same as every male in my society. Hang on a second. <laughs> At my feet, obeying every command I give you. Hence, crossbow bolt. She makes you stand. Yes, I stand. She makes you face the crowd. I face the crowd. She makes you raise your weapon. I raise my weapon. She begins to recite a passage from her text. Mm -hmm. Great goddess, mother of the dark, grant me the blood of my enemies for drink and the living hearts for meat. Grant me the screams of their young for song. Grant me the helplessness of their males for my satisfaction. Grant me the wealth of their houses for my bed. By this unworthy sacrifice, I honor you, queen of spiders, and beseech of you the strength to destroy my foes. So, hey, can I attack yet? Hang on. No. Okay. <laughs> she makes you attack this defenseless girl on the altar. Okay. I have to. You attack her. Well, have a roll. Please miss. You can't intentionally miss. Oh, I know. She's um, prone, technically. Mm hmm So I have advantage and it's an auto crit. Yep. I'll take the 12. Um, 15, 18. Okay. You bring this sword over your head and down onto her. Letters it. You don't need to roll damage. That's not happening. Cleaved in two. You, you bring it down on her chest and you hear her cry out from being struck with this weapon and bones crunch and blood spray as you cleave this innocent girl in half. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, she's with her brother now. P.I. to the rescue. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> detective work! You guys are great detectives. You... I actually did detective. You did the detective. I actually did something. <laughs> Amaranth just laughs as you chop this poor girl in half. And she says, Now, you are the reason for her undoing, as I'm sure you clearly wanted to save her. Pathetic. 
I wonder if you guys have initiatives right now. Uh, if 17. you want to continue attacking, like, yeah. 17. 17. And I also just rolled a 17. Just, I don't know why. 7. Okay. 18. <laughs> yeah. Y- it doesn't matter. You're good. Well, I mean, it does matter. Can I cast Smite on my bow? Yes. My bolt? Yeah. You may, you may Smite as you make... No, I think it has to be a melee attack. I don't think you can. Okay. I would not give... I, I'm just going to go with how Dark Souls works. You can't buff a weapon. Or a bow. Yeah. Okay. So, no. Okay. Okay, yeah, your turn, Rayton. Can I keep that? I rolled that earlier with intention of attacking. Sure. Okay, well then I, I shoot her with my crossbow. My heavy crossbow. Okay. What would that be? Is that D8? Uh, a heavy crossbow is a D10. Oh, okay. D10. 10. 10. Okay. What's dex damage? 11. So you shoot her in like... The- did you just Boop. Oh, and hey, I can attack bow? twice now. You booped with a crossbow. Yeah. Not with a crossbow. Oh, yes, you can, because bonus action reload. Yeah. yeah. Um, Go for it. Julian, should I approach an attack, or should I use the crossbow again? Crossbow. Crossbow. Because uh, if you try to go to attack her specifically, you five. have like eight other opportunity attacks against you. Yeah. Not okay. That's going to be a 15. Yeah. Cool. Seven damage. Oh, eight, eight. damage. Okay, you shoot it with two crossbow bolts. Eighteen ka-tum, damage. Ka-tum. Ka-tum, ka-tum. Ka-tum, ka-tum. Ka-tum, ka-tum. At the end of that, I'm going to do. A, I'm going to say, I'm sorry. I really didn't have a good time at cornhole, and then set my foot down onto the hoof and pull a string back to reload once more. Okay. As you know, just for aesthetic. For, for flavor, yeah. For yeah. flavor. Okay. We're gonna go. People are gonna go. Oh, tight. Hmm. You have any music for this? No, I don't. You really can't play music. Why not? We can only play it if it's um royalty for you. Ro- royalty, royalty free. free. Yeah. Mm. Otherwise, Twitch will mute it. Oh, sure. So I mean, no, I don't really have any music. Um. <clears throat> okay. Have you stood up? I'm sure someone at least saw you stab the shit out of a dude. Mm-hmm. Like, for, like seriously stab the shit out of <laughs> Just. <laughs> Rogues, like man. Assassin's Creed stabbed the crap out of them. Assassin's Rogues. Yeah. So, uh, a mage is going to cast himself a fucking... What the shit is it? Firebolt? <laughs> yeah, the, it's the a, a <laughs> yeah, it's a cantrip. Okay, uh, uh, Andrix. Nope. <laughs> I think not. Wait. At level 5, doesn't it get two bolts? No. With it? No? Okay. Um, then a... I don't think so. Oh, yeah. I don't believe that's right either. I don't think so either. I think it just increases the damage it does. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't remember Firebolt ever having more than one projectile. Um, then a couple more dudes are going to storm, run their way down the stairs. Pretty much everyone else who isn't wanting to take part in any kind of fight has <clears throat> gone to the back of the room or left because they don't want to die. You know? But they're going to run down off. Three of them are going to run to Andrix, and three of them are going to run to you. So, okay. I like to see them cry. They're going to hit Andrix. That's a hit. How do you know? For a four, because it's a 22. I have an AC of a billion, so. Oh, well, it hits you. I don't take damage. <laughs> he did a billion and one was his attack roll. That's fair, then. He can go. You take four damage. Push. Don't spit on my other boot is, The other dude's going to attack you. I like keeping them clean. He hits you with his longsword. It's me or him? Him. Yeah, they're, right now we're doing him. Hits you for six damage. And then the third dude attacks you. That hits you. For four damage. You take 14 points of damage. How much health do you have? Like total. 14 less. <laughs> I have 38. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Mm, not too bad. Then, the other three are going to attack Cam. Miss. Yeah, that hits you. Yes, it For does. like a 21 or 9. 9. Okay. And the third one. That's yeah. Yeah, two. For a 3. Okay. 12 points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. We're going to go to Andrix. Okay. There's three dudes on top of you wanting to, like, go fuck all your Get your, your steeds. Get my stuff. 
I'm still next to uh, Cam. Uh -huh. I actually, that's one of the other reasons I didn't want you to go up there because then I wouldn't get my sneak attack damage on any of the people that came near us. I didn't go up there. I know, but I'm just saying that's yeah. another one of those reasons. Yeah. So I'm going to try to attack one of these people. Oh, I crit. Yep. I fool. Sneak attack crit on an assassin. Oh my god. So. This is the two. max amount of damage you can do to one person. Four. Before this is going to be. Well, we'll see. Four, four, four is 12. And I roll my 3d6. Uh, so oh that's. Um, 18 plus whatever, plus 10. 22, 25, plus 18 is 30, 43 um, points of damage on this one dude. Just oh Yeah, he's dead. I that's just what... slurped the dagger into his neck and then right out. That's why you're a DPS. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Only when someone, only when like one of you are near my enemies. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's good DPS. Then we're gonna have um, soldier harm. Yeah. What do I do? Is that? I'm sure you can make a wisdom saving throw to fucking. Oh yeah, every turn. Out, I'm sure. Yeah, I think I do make one every turn. Um, oh, Six. Wait. Um. Use your action. Yeah, uh, it's only whenever you take damage you make a new wisdom saving throw. God damn! All right. I got a six anyway, so it didn't matter. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Donny person is yummy. All right. Yeah, it is. It's it's a yummy, yummy I want to. spell. Um, Emily, or here you. Uh, yeah. she's just going to say attack she's gonna tell you to attack uh the dark elf. The drow. Okay. The male drow. Damn it! If you want me to specify Damn it like it. that. He, attack Andrix. Doldrahar? Uh, it's totally, me. I'm totally <laughs> thralled, man. Yeah, no, it's not gonna work. Yeah, hey, he could still roleplay out. Please don't kill me. Yeah, seriously. So I, I don't want to have to do this to I you. I trod forward. Big ass great sword in, in hand. Uh, and I and I make a stand in front of Andrix. And I attack. After just a moment. Only, only a slightest pause. Oh. Uh, is a twenty-one versus AC enough to hit you? Yeah. Let me get out of my real quick. Uh, because I want to roll all this damage at once. So, what I have to have an attack of opportunity on? I didn't leave your. No, he didn't no. leave your reach. Oh, all right. Stop. Oh. Oof. Eleven. Uh, yes. and three more. 14 damage. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Attack number two. Mm hmm. Is a 19 mm -hmm. versus AC. Mm hmm. For eight damage. That's 22 total damage, dude. 22? 22. That's it. He's no, just, hang he's, on. He has 38 total. He took 16 last round. He took 14. He did 14? What's 22 plus 14? 36. I'm at two. Uh, so my turn. <laughs> hang on. I am at two HP. I can. I took twenty two in one hit. It's two hits. It was two it was hits. Two hits. That was. You, two you didn't take You're more fine. than half in your. I'm not gonna. No. Go. Yeah, I did. More twenty two is no one hit, wasn't it? No, no, it was two hits. It was two different hits. One did fourteen. The other one did eight. Oh. And you I'm understand sure, that I'm pretty sure it's half of your maximum HP in okay. one strike. Yeah. Oh, okay. In one single maximum. strike. Maximum. Okay. Yeah. It's not your current. Yeah, no. You, you, Even if it was your current, it was two different strikes. Yeah. Yeah. At uh, 2 HP, I have been slashed by what? A great axe? Great sword. sword. I'm bleeding profusely, <clears throat> coughing up blood. Hold yeah. your heart. Please. I'm like on the ground. She said just attack him, right? Yeah. Okay. Didn't say kill. Didn't say kill. No, you're gonna keep attacking. She's gonna make you attack him again when it gets yeah. to that point. Um, it is her turn. I could have killed you this turn. Fuck you. But she didn't say kill. Hang on. Is there a better button on somebody? It doesn't keep keeps happening. Yeah, that's why I don't wear that shirt anymore. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I can't find a better one. Uh, so she is going to cast Mass Healing Word. We're up to six creatures, including Doljahar. You're taking damage, right? Yeah. Yes. So, including Doljahar, she's going to heal you and some of the guys that are taking damage. Up to six. So, three, seven. I've taken 15 damage, right? Not you. Oh, maybe you have. Um, no, I don't. Yeah. I've taken 15. I thought it was 14. Was it? I think it was 14. All right, I'll go with 14. All right, uh, whose turn will that be after that? It is now your turn. All right. What up, Shaman Shinobi? Sorry, Dildrahar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 16 plus plus my Proficiency. 3 con plus my 3 pro plus my 3 strength. Yeah. So, who are you attacking? Doldrahar. I point it to Doldrahar. What's your AC? My AC is 16. Yeah, that's I, I would have hit you anyway. Uh, All right. So, I would like to with the crossbow. No, not with the crossbow. I'm hitting him with my sword. Okay. I'm going to intentionally do non-lethal damage, but I want to do enough damage to knock him out of his trance. Well, you're just going to have to deal damage to him. It's, yeah. He's going to take the damage. With, uh... 11. 11 damage, yeah. You take 11 damage. And then get to roll saving throw. Nope. Five. Nope. I guess I'll hit him again. Alright, so what's going no. on? Uh, no, I, I don't have an 11 plus 11. How much damage did you say you did? Uh, I did... 11. 11, yeah. So someone needs a recap? What? I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it in text. That's fine. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, quick recap. They they found a cult of sorts, and there was a sacrifice about to go on, and Doldrahar the dwarf is like, nah, decided that, that he would just go and attack the person sacrificing the girl, and now there's eight people trying to kill him, but he got sh the cult person cast dominate person on him and now he's killing his friends to be fair we've been looking to get rid of these people for a while <laughs> we found out we found out about them like as a soon day as ago. we figured out they were worshippers of law if we were looking for an opening and we had to rescue a certain person and that person was about to be sacrificed <laughs> oh by the way he murdered the girl we were trying to save okay it, clean. i was dominated you still you still did it you're not i just followed orders man yeah like, no you totally cleaved that girl in half like yeah. she's dead she, there's, no the com, there's no coming back from being uh, cleaved in half no anyway you missed the second attack cameron yes cool uh yes i did uh by the way i, I uh i'd like to ready my shield after that okay instead of doing all that so whose turn is it now uh, people attacking. Oh. Um, dude's gonna attack. Yeah. No. That hit. That, that's gonna that's hit. That's gonna He's hit. Stopping you with his dagger. Sure. I die. Yep, you're unconscious. So, uh, yep. He just, as I'm on the ground, you just kneeling and coughing up blood. This random. Oh, if you're kneeling, then he gets advantage. He Go hit ahead. anyway. Damn. Uh, Very <laughs> close. <laughs> Very close, uh, and and he just—he's actually a twelfth-level champion fighter. <laughs> <laughs> no. And he just stabs me in the gut, and I hit the and ground. He, you you go unconscious. Yeah. Amaranth up at the top laughs. You know, pathetic males. <laughs> Did you just assume my gender? Quite quite a bit of <laughs> yeah, shit going down. A lot of shit going down. <laughs> I'm dying right now. Um. I can cast you. Then it's going and to be the the other two dudes. Who are going to attack Andrix are now going to attack you. There are five people attacking you. Uh, they need to beat a 19 AC. Well, they beat it. No, no they don't. They, yep, yeah, they did. They did it again. No. No. They did it again. No. 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 Wow. So everyone's fucking. Oh, oh, oh and that's right, the mage that's still up there. He's going to cast Firebolt again. No. Uh, no. <laughs> dies. He, no, he did not. I, I know. He did. He, he fucked up. He done goofed. I just blocked six attacks. Yeah, you did. Dude, okay. Rain looked like a badass after that was over. Oh, yeah, most <laughs> definitely. Oh, you yeah. Deflecting attacks with your shield and sword and, like, ducking and dodging. Hell yeah. You definitely got that. My turn? No. My turn. turn. Uh, roll death, roll death saving throw. Passed. That's, two passes. That's two passes. There it's two are. passes. 
Oh, if you roll a one, I'm not gonna give you two fails. That's just kind of. No, I, I figured as much. That's All cool. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Next. Next, it is um. Doldrahar. Doldrahar, right? No, he got a twelve. He goes. Did you already? No, I got an eighteen for. Initiative. Initiative. So yeah, it's just yes. Yeah, I rolled a lot of twelves, but I did get that eighteen yeah. for initiative. Okay. Uh, in which case, she... I need to attack you, right? Yeah. Well, she can specify right now. Yeah. And she's going to have you attack. Rayton now. Rayton. Does she know his name? Attack the human resisting. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> if you want, attack the one that worships Heronius. That's fair. Attack the paladin. How do you know that? <laughs> you're yeah. covered in iconography. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, you're going to get uh, two slashes at you. Oh, being like in, in the slash direction. Uh, that is a 19. So it, Defender or attacker wins? Attacker, attacker wins. Okay. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, damage, and then a lot less. Then you missed. Actually, it's okay. So much less. Oh no, that's just gross. Like me? That would be really bad to do. That'd just be like not okay. He has the spell book open, by the way. Yeah, I was thinking about casting a spell that would just probably ruin gross, our day. Just do gross it. Everyone you're, you're the DM. Just do what? how it's supposed. How you envision us to be just absolutely bent over. Just do it. Okay, that was a don't. T- okay, after that, don't grow grow up my face. I didn't. Okay, just, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> attack the one who wants to talk to us about our lord and savior <laughs> this gives me so deep a moment yeah, by the lord and savior Carnius. really that, actually uh, if he if she said that he, you could turn around and attack any of the cultists that's true yeah lord and savior loth uh actually she's she's just cast a cantrip at him yeah, just dab a cantrip at him. <laughs> Get within range and just do poison spray at fifth level. <laughs> I don't take poison damage. You do take poison damage. Okay, no, she's just gonna leave. She see there's a door behind her, like a hatch that goes down mm-hmm. and out. She's just gonna head down there. Okay. And she's I, leaving. I, I yeah, but she's messed up. Yeah. So ha. Huh? Yeah, no. She's... Or she might have 10 billion health and just slash and she's like, you're a dick. And then she leaves. No, no, no. You definitely, like, cut her the hell up. She's going to have those scars across her face for the... and her body the rest of her life. Good. And we're going to see them the next time we cut her open. That's right. She's leaving. <laughs> um, then it is Rayton's turn. Sorry, buddy. Uh, I have to kill you. I hit you. Let me go ahead and roll my saving throw and fail it. I, I okay, uh, I don't hit you. How much damage? Uh, first one was uh, seven. You guys get two attacks. Yeah, yeah, lucky. I think you get one. You get two attacks as well as a rogue. Only well, one of them is a stink attack. But you get two five. attacks. Yeah, you get two attacks. Huh? I think you do. At at level level? I think every class at gets level a, five an attack. At level five, level. you get extra attacks. Except for wizards. Well, that I should have probably known that. That still would have been a decent amount of damage. Yeah. Anyway, continue. So I hit Doldrahar once again. Um, I don't want to move because then that particular attack of opportunity. From five people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, You're taking 23 points of damage. Can I cast Cure Wounds on my dying compatriot on the floor? Sure. Yeah, you can do that. I do that. Okay, do that. That act, He's stable now. And gains D6 or D4 hit, hit, hit point. Cure Wounds? Yeah. D8. Yeah, D8. You gain 6 HP. Plus charisma. You gain... I am now 10 HP. No, uh, 8, 8, 8. So I'm at 9. Yeah. Cool. Uh, you're not conscious, you're stable. No, he is conscious. Oh, he's conscious? Yeah, you give me more than 1 HP, you're conscious. Okay, he's he's awake. He's good and going now. So that's your attack. These five people attack you. Missed. Nope. Attack you. Nope. Three. Yeah, it's a, that is a 19 to hit you. Yeah, that is. For 7 damage. Ay. That also hits you. Ay. For 3 damage. Oh. And the fifth one just misses. And then the mage is going over at 
fucking year one. Uh, that hits you. What is the uh, most fireball to do in six? D10. For six damage. Oh, I poppy. Six? Yep. Okay, Andrix. Doesn't say anything about another attack, actually. It's, is it not in the is chart? Is it fifth level chart? Chart, fifth level? Chart, fifth level. I'm looking at it. Doesn't say second attack? It says uncanny dodge. All right, I was wrong. I did, I but is it uncanny dodge, like, lit as fuck? It is, it is lit as fuck. Yeah, I can just have damage. Yeah. Anytime he takes a source of damage, you can half it. Which I probably should have... Yeah. Done. I completely forgot. That's my bad. Yeah. I I think my my normal DP my beginning hit DPS is so powerful that I really only use that because mm -hmm. an extra D four is an incredible. Yeah. So yeah, my turn. Um, I'm up to nine HP. I'm going to look you in the eye, and I'm going to grab my coin and flick it into the air. By the way, he's got a two face motif. Um, yeah. For those of you who haven't seen this yet, this hasn't come out yet. Yeah, it yeah. hasn't. Yeah, it's the first yeah. time it's come up. It's just a blank coin. It's just a blank coin. It's a complete yeah. blank coin, and I decide your fate. So. Yeah. We're just going to go with that. So it's in the air, and I, I, I rush you uh, with a 25. You hit. All right. Since a cam is right next to me, I get my. Oh, shit, yeah. My sneak attack damage. Um, or. We're gonna kill Doldrahar right here. <laughs> so that's a six, and then I've got that's still not bad. Um, sixteen damage. I rush at you and try to slice my dagger into your chest piece. Uh, uh twelve, by the way. Fuck no. Didn't think so. How much hit the yellow Nine. <laughs> okay, Daldrahar, it is your turn. Cool. Amaranth has moved far enough away that you are no longer under the spell. God. You just feel all of the pain at once as yeah. it hits you with a wall. You've been slashed three times right, and been then stabbed by? in the stomach. You've been struck by a oh, smooth criminal, criminal bump. Hey. What I want to do right now is when I slash him, as the coin is dropping back down, I want to I wanna grab it. Okay. So as it tinks and I slap it on my wrist, he comes out of the, the trance, and I'm like, just looking at him. So I stagger back, holding my my side. Yeah. Uh, one one hand on the sword. Just, oh. You got lucky, Doldrahar. Yeah, we we're just gonna kill you. <laughs> That's not a nice thing to say to your friend. That's a very aggressive thing to say to your friend. Obvious, and then I, I, I say that obviously the shit out of one of the cultists. Go for it. I'm gonna say that obviously joking is. Oh. Well, I missed once. Boom! Not the second time, Hit though. Second it's time. your boy, don't I'm gonna take this. Thank you. You delicious. I didn't take it for you. Uh, 12 damage to one of them. Alright, you cut a dude down. You fuck him up. Then a second wind. Okay. To regain uh, five. I thought that was a monk thing. Second wind is a monk thing. No, that's a fighter oh, thing. That's a fighter thing. No, you're thinking of like Flurry of Blows, maybe? Uh, Maybe a step of wind. Step of the wind. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna double check the exactly. That's that's fucking dope. I yeah. didn't know fighters. No, I thought second wind gives you HP back. It does give me HP back. I think it's like a, it's it gives you HP back and uh, and you uh, have an action surge, right? Yeah, it's it's my level in in fighter plus. Yeah, that's right. Plus a D10. <laughs> I can just go with that. If that's ten. Not, oh well. <coughs> so fifteen. I regain fifteen. So I'm at twenty down. So I have 24 HP. Oh my God. That gave you a lot. It did give me a lot. It was maximum. Um, and with this newfound HP, I'm going to action surge mm -hmm. and fuck up another guy. Okay. Mm. No. Critical miss. <laughs> Critical hit. Critical hit. Lit. Uh, oh, yeah. So I do the crit damage. Oh, it's going to oh, be yeah. 12, 22, 22, 25. Then I get an extra attack because I crit. Mm -hmm. He crit. No, I miss it. Yeah, that, that dude's dead though. What? What? What, uh, what, are, the, what are the chances of actually like hitting a crit? No, but one doesn't it. Whenever you kill someone as well, you also get that. That's true. So you killed that dude. So you get you two get extra to, attacks. You get to go again. Oh my! I crit, crit again. He crit. He oh gets a no attack, dude. That's what a fighter is supposed to be. I think this is only gonna. I think you're supposed to only do it once a turn. I'll be honest. 
I think no, because the chances of it being like a 19 or 20 are so low. If he gets it again, I'd let him do it. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. This is like a moment when you need it. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a big and heavy moment. Uh, Six, seven, eight, nine damage to that guy. No, plus 10. Uh, Sorry, plus 12. Plus 12. Uh, It's 21 damage. Who's bad? Uh, 21 damage. Uh, I guess another guy. Okay. Is he dead? Yeah. All right, I kill, I, there we go. I, I continue going, and I miss. <laughs> yeah, you miss. Oh, shit. You just killed three people in one go. That's called a fighter. Kapat! Kapat! Did it dab on the man. Okay. Um, Rayton? No. I killed yes. three people no. with two attacks a turn. Yes. Yes, yeah, Rayton. Rayton. All right, Rayton. I drink, though. I, I'm dry. Hakuna Matata. Let's smack their tatas all across the There's, there's two dudes left. Plus the mage on the altar. He's probably okay. like, hang on, let's see if he's spooked. Let's see if he's spooked. Roll for spook. So spooked. He's spooked. He's free spooked. He's spooked. Are we only allowed to do spook rolls in October? Yeah. Fair enough. You hit. You hit a dude. You dude the guy. You dude. I dude the guy for nine damage. I'm gonna dude that guy again. <laughs> Unless he died. Is he dead? No, he's he's alive. I dude him again. Yeah, you dude him again. If you keep doing that, dude, that dude is dude. He's dead. You, you run your sword through him and across him, and he's dead. There's just some people that are bad. There's one guy, there's, there's a dude and a fucking mage dude left. There's just two people left that are bad. Well, I mean, there were three. Uh, he's going to attack you, Rayton! And he missed. Good. And then the mage, he's just like shitting himself. And uh, casting spells? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Did you re roll that? Well, that because that wasn't at all. He cast fireball. As fireball. His last ditch team. Well, he doesn't roll. You guys make a saving. We make throw. saving throws. Make yeah. saving throws. What's the saving throw? It's dexterity. A dexterity saving throw. How did? Pass. You... How? Dick. You can uncanny oh, dodge one. Oh, okay. Here we go. What? I can uncanny dodge it. Okay. It's just half. So half of half. <laughs> you take no damage. No, no, no. takes a quarter damage. No, you don't take a quarter. You, you, you do take zero. Really? Yeah. Yep. No damage. It's specified name. <laughs> <laughs> Dodge fireball. Hello. How many D eight is fireball? Like uh, it's it, no, it's sixty six. It's sixty six. Yeah, uh, fire. Or so, no, it's sixty eight. It's eighty six. Sixty eight. It's um, those are still both very high numbers. Eight D six. Eight D six. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god. Okay. Goodness. He's a hit. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're good. Oh. Roll that way. I think. Actually, are... that's called a murder. <laughs> Shaman Shinobi. Holy shit. That's funny. What is I'm all that? about it. What is that? Uh, you just killed three people. That's called a fighter. Actually, that's called a murder. <laughs> <laughs> 15. A mass murder. 21 damage. Homicide. You All take right. no damage, and you both take half damage. I cool. Think. Which is ten. Yeah. I just... Out of the fucking fireball. You get behind me. <laughs> Basically. You dodge roll it somehow. Uh, None of these are mine. Except for this one. A what? Hello? So take your damage. Okay. Is that I took my damage. I I got everything but the thing you needed. What do you mean? Like I got the explanation. Yeah. What? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I uh, can I yeah I need that one back and that one. Okay. So we need to go kill that dude. Yeah. Just hit him with a crossbow. Or yeah. Something. Can I just ping, 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 um um ping. it's Antrix's turn. I'm gonna go. You can dash as a bonus action, so you can run up, hit him, then dash and run go away. Here's the thing: there's only one dude left, and if I go up there alone, I'm not gonna do any damage to him. That's true. So I'm gonna hold. Yeah, don't do that. I'm gonna hold action, and I'm gonna uh, attempt to disappear with uh, plus six in stealth, plus dexterity. It's a twenty-five. Yeah. Yep. I have. You've, <laughs> you've hidden behind like a pew or one of the columns or some shit. Awesome. Okay, Doldrahar. Yep. I go up to him, and I hit it a couple times. Hit him. Because that's what I do as a fighter. <laughs> you murder people. Yeah, I you murder missed. people. I don't hit that one. You missed. I probably don't hit that one either with a total of um, 12. Yeah, you hit him. Sweet. Uh, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Ow! You, you cut the shit out of him. He's still Yowch. alive. You, he's still alive. Yowza. Um, race him. It's your turn. <clears throat> Crossbow bolt. Uh, uh, 16. And... Yeah. Well, 16 plus okay. 5, which is 19. So, the other one didn't hit. So... Uh, eleven damage. What does it say? Okay. Yeah. We actually we don't play with a board anyway, uh, Shaman Shinobi. So even if uh, even if we did have a camera, like you wouldn't be able to see us uh, on the on the game board. We have one. We just don't play with it usually. Yeah. Well, we do when it's the bigger games, but we don't use it in this group. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I like a more abstract combat kind of thing. Yeah. You know, be, being able to have it in your head and you know. Yeah, I mean, if it's on the table, it's also good, but I feel like it just makes it feel like you can do less, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we, we might do like a roll 20 at some point, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, it depends. Just entirely depends, yeah. I mean, this is, of course, the actual but, first run that we've yeah. started doing yeah. this. Yeah. We'll um, figure it out. But yeah. that dude's dead. He takes an arrow, bolt. it takes a bolt to the chest and just fucking keels over. Right, so everyone's and dead, dies. right? Yes. So I have to turn uh Kyle, don't be don't be scared. Yeah. <coughs> Cause I'm <coughs> Well excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go up behind uh Doldrahar because I'm snuck. It's a surprise attack and I'm going to attack you. Because I'm salty. Non lethal. I'm just mad. I'm salty. I'm still mad. It, it's an instant crit. Um if you hit. Mm-hmm. Oh, it. So, oh shit. No. <laughs> but I get advantage. It, it's no. It's an instant crit because it's a surprise attack. No, well, if you hit, you do have to hit. And technically, he is an ally. Allow it. Click allow. Yeah. What does it say? It's uh, the mod is trying to prevent him from saying pussy. Yeah. Oh, I that's one I didn't put in the. the uh, allow. Oh. Okay. So. Even though man, we really don't care. Yeah. No, I have advantage, which pro. Which does it? It is. Yeah, you have advantage. So that's a twenty. Yeah. Do you that that hits? Yeah. I'm just I'm just salty. You. You went to town on me. But it's not like he just he chose. I know. I'm just out of like kind of rivalry friendship stuff. Five. Five. I, I knock you out. Just, 35 damage. Yeah, something like that. KO. 35 non-lethal damage. Yeah, I just pop. I just pop you on the back of the head, and I'm like, right in. With the pommel. Come on. Get him back up. I walk mm-hmm. over. Unfucking conscious. What the fuck? I walk over, and I'm just like, uh, You back. burn another Do you want to allow this one? No, I don't want it. Uh, no, I'll just do, 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 medical, I'll just do a medical check and do it that way with a... That's going to be 15. Yeah. I'm sure the so yeah, I wake you up. I'm not even using magic. Just using medical checks. Like, uh, boom, he's back. The fuck hit me. <laughs> Dodge your hard now. No. Hey, dude, this guy ran by, man. L- listen, <laughs> listen, yeah, I'm gonna be honest. You literally slashed the shit out of me. <laughs> Got a little mad. I just wanted a bit of payback. That's all. I'm gonna lean back and look at his pants. Be like, you should probably change. <laughs> what level? Are we're you? playing. Fu- we're we're currently fifth level. So we're, that's, he's fit, he's that's also, three quarters of my health. He's a rogue as well. Yeah. He, and, and he got and an he auto got a, crit. Yeah, an auto crit sneak attack. Yeah. That's just bullshit. <laughs> because it was, I was surprised Cause, by his. Because I went yeah. into uh, sneak. Yeah. I, I'm a dolder heart. I apologize. I just, I got angry. I let, I let that get the better. Uh, and I actually like hold out my hand. All right, I slapped your hand aside. Use my sword to help myself up, and I limp over to the corner and say, "Well, go get them." <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got to stop her. I uh, I kind of chuckle and I just make my way into that. How much hatch. did you heal, Cameron? Uh, I healed you for just a medicine check. Yeah, I just I. I... Took you out oh, of I have one then. All right. Yeah, I took you out of consciousness. Sweet. You got him from however much HP he had. He only has like nine, so. Actually, I'm not conscious yet, if that's what that was. I thought you cure wounds me. No. Otherwise, uh, I roll a d4, and I'm still asleep for three hours. <laughs> oh! Oh, snap! Good job! 
Oh, are you going for another spell slot? And bring I, only have, I only have one more if I do that. Wait, I'm level five now. How many spell slots do I have? I don't know. Check in the book. Probably a couple. I had three. Three. More. Mm, you have more. Then I get yeah. Then yeah, I'll cast it. I mean, I have more. All right, roll the d8. So we still have that little. Jesus Christ. Uh, nine. Nine. Nine HP. You have... yes. You slap my hand away. Get up with your sword. <laughs> And I run down the hatch. At fifth level, you have four first spell slots and two second. I have second level spells now. Okay, I, I need a book. Give, give, give me, give me. Right. What? I don't have spells. So. What's how many spells do I get at level, for, at level five? You it just reads right there. I no, get. That's not. Uh, it's gonna be in spellcasting. Oh, it is. Okay. Anyways, uh, I think you get one a level. I mean, you don't. Pre- I don't think you prepare spells. You just have access to the list. I don't remember. It's somewhere but in yeah. there, it tells you. Uh, it's like your level plus something. Like, like prepare the can, list of spells can... and then available for you to cast that you can prepare. Uh, spell list is equal to so the charisma, modder, charisma modifier plus mm-hmm. half your paladin level. Okay. My charisma so, is plus, so two plus two, two. so four. I have four spells. I have four spells. So I you can better get, be. I can get... Is that right? Kyle's fine with it. Yeah, but... Don't Kyle thinks it's funny. If you're a fifth level power, then you have a first level. What hit me? What hit me? Crazy story. What a strange and convenient thing to happen, huh? <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> <it's laughs> and then you ran away. It's at the back. That's funny. That's good. Uh, but Let yeah. me just prepare my spells. I just kind of nod. I go down the hatch and uh, attempt oh. to follow. Uh, <sighs> yeah, me too, dude. He's going more to the side. What's her name? What's her, um, um, Amaranth. Amaranth. A monomar. A mon. It's oh, not. Mar. It's not the Scandinavian one. Hey, maybe. I I can. Should I get lesser restoration? Sure. Or I can get aid. That's better healing stuff. Aids right? are better. It, no. Hey, Beat. you're wearing your boot. You she it. is wearing her boot. She she is in fact wearing her boot. She can't hear us though. That's fine. But yeah. So uh, where okay. am I after I've closed myself in this hatch? In a tunnel. It's a tunnel. So, so I'm following that tunnel. Or you you close yourself is in it? Is it dark? Yes. Uh, obviously. You close yourself in it? Yeah. I was going to go with you. You can follow me. It's not locked or anything. It's just closed. All right. Yeah. All I right. was going to limp behind you too. So. Yeah. Okay. So we, we both follow. Okay. okay. So, so um, it's dark. So. It's very dark. It's very. You have to like hunch over. It's like a very short tunnel. So we have tunnel vision. might not have to. Yeah. No. Dojo Harm might have to just kind of like put his head. Like kind of bump his head down a little bit. But yeah. Uh, so I'm um, very we're just... wet and very loose dirt. Okay, so it's not a very well done tunnel. No, it's just like a kind of escape tunnel. I, I kind of I, I kind of speed up and I kind of look back and I say, okay, we, mo- we we might need to hurry up. I don't think this tunnel will go last much longer. Go first, so you can see what we're going. I'm so a drow. Oh, so I have superior dark vision. I'm yeah. blind. <laughs> I'm just holding on to Dope as we go. Okay. I'm behind you, so I mean, like, I'm just shoveling, shoveling you forward. Being basically. dark in here is kind of a given. Yeah. 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 No, I'm just saying. And the other tunnel they were in was lit up. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But yeah. So a, we, we continue on. You continue on down the tunnel. Now you're in front? Yes. Make a dexterity saving. Yep, figured that much. Okay, uh, so. Do you get proficiency bonus on that? I do. As a, as a rogue. 21. 21? Okay. You step on the floor and a rune on the floor lights up and explodes in fire. I'm assuming you're just going to uncanny dodge it. So you take no damage. <laughs> then the tunnel collapses. Oh, yeah, seriously. Behind. Yeah, that spot after you kind of ran across it explodes and the shit collapsed. Okay. Are we separated now? Yeah, yes. yeah. You two are in the back. You so I, I have to continue forward. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Okay, that's fine. I continue into the tunnel. You have no idea where this, where this steps out either. I have no clue. And it's a bad idea to dig because the rest can fall out, so we have to leave the tunnel. Yeah, we have to go back the way we came. All right, back to where we came. Shit. Damn. All right, that's fine. You continue on that. I'm tunnel. continuing on that down that tunnel. Okay. I guess we loot the dudes on the way out. Okay. You can you can do that. Um, you you're running through the tunnel, mm-hmm. Andrix. Uh. Chasing after Amaranth. You can see, like, blood trail mm-hmm. down the tunnel because she's losing blood. She mm-hmm. was shot by multiple cross bolts, cross, uh, bolts and slashed across the body multiple times. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're following down this tunnel for a while, 
and you it opens up out into an area. Uh, it opens up like halfway down a small cliff, and there's a waterfall next to you. And there is like a path that goes down and around behind the waterfall and under. I'm going to have to follow that path then. Uh, you're following it. The blood is there. It comes okay. down, and you get down to, the, to a river uh, where, after, where the waterfall hits and kind of starts flowing down that way. The blood trail stops once it gets to the river. She must have taken a boat. Damn. Which way does the river flow? Uh, it flows east. Okay. So, um, since it's dark, I'm not going to put my uh, hood over. I'm going to hold on to my coin and just kind of uh, jog uh, down the river. Uh, the way it flows. Okay. Uh, you're jogging down it. Uh, there's there's kind of there's like a path on the side of the river that mm-hmm. you're following, or if you want, you can run in the river. I don't know. At, at some point, it might get deeper. Yeah, but, I'm not gonna test that. Uh, you're you're running down the side of the river. There's no blood trail here, and you don't. Uh, looking down the river, from what you can see, there doesn't seem to be a boat. You're running down for five ten minutes, and you don't find anyone. I have a feeling we'll find her again. I love how you're just there. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. In the woods. Hey, uh, we'll find her again. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Um. So I just, I don't know where to go. I don't know how to get back to the the, the barn, the farm, from here. I know that there's a cliff and a waterfall and a path that goes behind it, but other than this river, I don't know where I am. Was the escape tunnel straight? Mm-hmm. If you go back to where the bloodstains were, you can just follow the way the escape tunnel sourced out back to the farmhouse. Just walk in the opposite direction that you came in for a while. And I have to find town. So I'm at a cliff, so I just have to turn the other way? Or what do you mean? Like? There's like, well, you can go back to where the tunnel was and the path continues up the cliff. Oh, so really? You can go back up to the top of the cliff and you can oh, the, okay, follow then the general I'll direction. I'll go ahead and do that. that the general direction back there. to town. And I'm going to go ahead and take Doldrahard to a bar or something so I can drink away his woes and he can heal. So I can drink and he can heal, is what you just said. No, so he can drink and heal. I meant you. I mean, yeah, I understand what you meant, but I think it's funny. All right, yeah, we return to the town. Or are we gonna go to the barn? Hmm? We're not gonna go to the barn. We just leave. You're bar. Out. I mean, you don't go to the, the bar. bar. I know you. I know you said bar. I was wondering if we wanted to go to the bar f- barn first. No, we leave. Yeah, I'm outies. I, I agree with that. So, you two make it back to town, and I'm sure after a few minutes of walking in the direction you can kind of assume the uh, tunnel went, Matrix, <laughs> you make your you find your way back to the farm, and from there you can find your way back into the village. Well, that is just peachy. <laughs> peachy. Peachy keen. All right, so what does it say? Next time an elf asks you which way does the river flow, just answer the way you want it, baby. You'll instantly put charmed on him or her. <laughs> wow. The way you want it. All right. That's a pickup line. Ballin. You guys have kind of congregated in the bar. Um, Doljahar being almost dead. Yep. Andrix being almost dead. Yup. Rayton. All right. Being not that dead. Bloody, but I'm all right. I'm not half out. Yeah. What about the seventeen men that you guys kind of had? Where are they at? They they were waiting for us in town. Yeah. So they're, 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 just, they're just chilling in we, the bar. They walk back. You come in. And, yeah. Yeah. He's basically dead. Andrix isn't there. I'm bloody. Like, One of us gone. He he's he's like you know. I just rolled a mat right there. No, I wasted it. You can drink and heal. Somebody else is going to be a demigod, demigod at least. least. All right. Okay. So you all get back to the bar. Is there any kind of you guys? So talk no, they they they've been there a while. I just Andrew, I tell the dudes like, oh, he'll be back. <laughs> so I I push open the door to the to the tavern, and I walk in, slightly out of breath, and I turn to all of my compatriots. 
and I just nod no. Shake and I go no. straight. Yeah. Go to the bar. Okay. You go to the bar. Sit down. The, the I just floor. drop a gold on the table. Take a rest. Take a night to rest here. So something. Yeah. She. Uh, the bartender pours. Yeah, he pours you some uh, drink. That that gold will let you get gone if you want to get absolutely drunk. Uh, that's enough gold. He'll just give you back how much you have left after that. Right. Whenever you're completely So done. so the the bartender get I, I just look at him and say Get me good. Get me real good. Yeah, he nods. Okay. And you know, after a little while of drinking he says, Oh, I almost forgot. This came for you. He puts a letter on he puts an envelope on the counter in front of you. I at this point I'm probably kind of there, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's, so I grab the envelope and I say, "It's addressed to you. you Full name." You don't sound. I've had one of these letters before. Are we here for this? And no, it actually, the way. it actually had my name completely out on there, yeah. just like this one. Yeah, she didn't open the last one. No, we didn't. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. No, you, didn't. you didn't open it. You literally just put it in your bag. That's true. Yeah. You you looked at it and you're like, huh, okay. So, and that was it. <laughs> so I was like, I'm looking at the bartender. I'm like, well, look here. Look here. I love you. I love you a lot. You've been there for me so much. I really haven't, but okay. You know what? How can you judge? How much you've been there for me? When well, I have seen the stuff that you've done for me, I've, I've only poured you a few drinks. So we're not here for this. This you is... might be like across the bar. No, okay. no, look here. Those drinks have gotten me to a place where I can feel the light. The light. Coming from a drow. Yeah. You were there for. Okay, bud. May I have another drink? I've had a. He, he, he I look at him and I, I say, I've had a really shitty night. <laughs> He's like, I shouldn't, but here. I died. And I came back to life. I was unconscious. But yeah. I, was, yeah, yeah. I was dying. I mean, you, you're drunk enough to basically. You're, I died and I came back to life. He's like, uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I was like, I didn't really die. I just, I was close. More than two, probably. Yeah. Definitely more than two. Uh, two I, cups. Yeah, that's about right. So I, I, uh, I look at the bartender. And I said, "You've been a good friend to me. I thank you for that. I'm gonna find that bitch, that whore." Mm-hmm. Amber. Dude, you shouldn't talk about your mom that way. So, she didn't give me cookies! <laughs> so from across the bar, I'm going to say, we didn't even find out anything about the... Uh, we have no leads, but I will find her. In your name. What's your name? You, you know, son, I think you should just stop talking. What's your name? I'm Andrix. Seamus. I like to point out, in the back of the entire time, uh, Raid's been... Like half drunkenly walking around singing and talking to everybody, just in the background of this dramatic moment. Look here, okay. I need to know your name so that I can contact you if I ever need your drinking skill again. What is your name? I am Andrew. Marty. Marty. Because he runs a party. <laughs> yeah, that, that's good. That's why my parents named me at birth. That's good. They were like, he's going to be a bartender. <laughs> we're going to call him Marty because he's going to run a party. Yeah, okay. He, he, he just he just disengages the conversation. He just walks. He turns he around. other people. I finish my drink. I say, good night, Marty. I love you. And what I'm walking off, and I, I'm, I'm kind of tipping over to Raiden. I'm like, Raiden, 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 you won't believe this. I just had a conversation 
with a bartender. Dude. <laughs> what? Are Get you a, okay? Get a job. Should I take you upstairs? <laughs> I mean, if if that's what you want to do. If okay. you would like. I'm just gonna I walk don't, around. I which way does the river flow again? Yeah. <laughs> which way does the river it's, flow? It's now canon and fixes. I'm, I'm just gonna walk around behind. Signs for both parties. Tuck, tuck, tuck my arms. The under fields his are being and just kind of like lock my fingers to his chest and drag him towards the stairs. Like, okay, we're going to bed. Look here, everybody, and imagine this. It bugs. We're flying. Which way would they go? And then up, down, left to right. They don't have a direction. He's Good upstairs. night. He's upstairs. He's upstairs. You're at an eleven. Good night. <laughs> I need you at a two. <laughs> I like the good night just ah. So I get dragged to bed. Yep. He had a conversation. Oh good. Here I was thinking we're the only ones who can stand him. <laughs> so you have two letters addressed to you. So, both of which you have not opened. I shouldn't open them at this point. I'll probably open them when I wake up when I'm not. You should open them now. I will remember what they said. Yeah, but I will. <laughs> Don't touch my face. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> so I actually pulled the other letter out from my coat pocket, and I, I I opened that one first. Are you still drunk? I yeah, and I I open the letter and I'm looking at it. Okay. It's a howler from Harry Potter. Ronald Weasley. <laughs> sorry. Right, anyways, ten points to Gryffindor. So anyways, it has a name on it. Yeah, my name, specifically. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. The letter, you opened it, you broke the seal and pulled out the piece of paper inside. Mm -hmm. You opened it, and there is one name. Oh my god. I'm being contracted to kill again. All it says on it is Rexton. I, even drunk, I instantly know what this paper is. Rexton, my evil twin brother. Yeah. <laughs> no, did, I, I literally go. Alright. And I close. Are, are you looking over his shoulder? Sure. I put it oh, back oh. into the envelope and place it into my coat pocket. Do you, do you let him kind of see it? Yeah, he's, he sees Rexton. You know the name Rexton. Well, how do I know it? Rexton is the name of your father. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. Maybe I should ask him what that means. Hey, dude, what does that mean? <laughs> so, before I was... <sighs> instantly sobered. No, no. I... Instantly yeah. No, I mean, nor like, this is a very grave matter. Like, anytime I get something like this, I, I steal myself to the best of my ability. But, yeah. like, I explained. Uh, before I was placed... <sighs> unwillingly... Willingly into uh, the Boreal Kingdom's guard. I was a high value contract killer. Only deemed uh, to kill uh, important noblemen and other uh, like men and women. This is this is the uh, this is the paper that will tell me my next target. Was there a last name on the paper? No. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I understand that we all have dark past, and this seems something that's very important to you. But right now, you are extremely drunk. I think the best thing to do is, how about you give me that paper? I'll hold on to it for you in the morning. I'll make sure you see it. No. Okay. This is This is mine. It is addressed to me. I will hold on to it. I apologize, uh, but but this is not your your battle. This is not your work. I don't even know if I'm going to do it in the first place, but obviously it means something. Get some rest, Andrews. I will. Thank you. So he leaves my room. Room closes. I lock it. Whatever. I open the second envelope. To sleep, I go. You open the sec the the second letter. It has your name scrawled on it, 
not in the same writing style or font, and it is sealed with some with a different seal. I it's, crack open the seal. You break open the seal, and you pull out the letter. It is actually a letter uh, telling you it's actually talking about tonight. Uh, it, it says, I see that your quarry had gotten away from you tonight. I know of where she might strike next or be present next. It is to the east a distance. To the east we go. A great, a pretty large distance. It is a place in which a very dark and powerful ritual will most likely be held in order to bring the darkness that you and your fellows seek to stop. And at the bottom, it is signed, Rexton. Oh, uh, Daddy! Okay, so, small recap. Okay. In, in the game before this one, before we decided to start streaming these, um, we ended up going back to the capital, you know, for the city that we were fighting for or whatever, right? In which the player I'm car uh, I'm playing, Rachel Garrus, was of noble blood, uh, and blah blah, all that happened, and apparently, yeah, Rachel thought the family members were dead after the whole fiasco with spiders happened, but apparently his father, who is Rexton, is alive and talking to this Nimrod, and now I'm con now I'm conflicted. Nimrod? Well, you don't you don't know, you don't know about the second letter. No, I don't, I don't know about know the second letter, but. I mean, meta, I do know about it. Yeah. yeah. So your dad is alive. And um, he's trying to secretly help us get rid of the thing that he was trying already to get rid of. Yeah. So he just basically went into underground. Not like maybe literally, but yeah. he, he just he kind of dropped off the radar. Yeah. And for um, RP purposes, yeah, he can read it, Shen. Yeah, right. Yeah. In order to make sure the game continues. Yeah. It's written in common, if that needs yeah. to be. So, um, actually, now knowing that I don't have to kill Raxton. Which, which letter is more recent? The one he just read. Ah. So, Rexton's one of your contacts. But a different one of your contacts wants you to kill Rexton. No, Rexton's not one of his contacts. Then why do you get the letter? Rexton has his phone number, but he didn't give his number to Rexton. Oh, yeah, okay. pretty much. Okay. Like, the bartender pulled the letter out from under the counter and gave oh. it to Andrick, saying, oh. this was left for you. Oh, that sucks. Okay. So he's watching our moves. So my father didn't even leave his son a letter. That sucks. Right? <laughs> well, well, apparently. That's okay. Uh, he he likes to draw a letter than you. He wasn't a good father, so he decided. I, I don't think it was that. <laughs> he wasn't really a good father anyway, so whatever. No, but I, I actually take that, that letter. Uh, and I, I walk up, I go into the hallway, go to Wrighton's door, and knock. I'm asleep now, Jerry. I get the door. Okay. Wrighton. Can you make sense of this? Take the letter. Uh, I'll go ahead and screen it over real fast. Yep. And invite him into the room. I come in. This place to the east he references as a uh, like a shrine, a place of uh, power of a deity. Okay, well I'm more fixate fi fixated yeah, I'm just, I'm on just the fact in. that my dad's writing you letters. So I'm going to look at him and say, how did you get this? The bartender gave it to me and said that it, w it was left. Bartender gave it. I'm going to fold it up, stick it in my pocket, and walk under the bar. Okay. All right. 
common What's that? At least it's not under dark seeing as Seeing as Zivon getting the letter is a trial, right? Okay. Uh, I mean I mean, yeah It's written, I mean, the man who wrote the letter Wrote it in common Yeah Alright, so I want to talk to the bartender I want to ask him when the man left the letter He said A couple weeks back Whole couple weeks back. What do you look like? So when you're telling me, yeah, he can time travel because we just we just jumped to time traveling. The first thing. How else is he going to know that she got away? Where she'll strike next? Where we are? Hey, where we are? Three weeks beforehand. Daddy's a smart man. All right. He's a, he's one smart cookie. He's a very smart cookie. Okay. He's a freaking time traveler, dude. Or he's a diviner. What does he look like? Huh? What does he look like? The man. Oh, uh, the 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 bartender says, uh, he was older. I'd say mid late sixties. Kind of gray hair. Mm. He was. In, he was in a robe. I mean, there wasn't really anything. I mean, he's your father. You can describe him. Yeah, okay, so describe the father. Uh, what direction did he go? Uh, he didn't say. He just handed me this no letter. Clues. Said, give it to a drow that would be coming in here at some point. <laughs> I would know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, then he left. He's talking about loving me. Here, this is for you. <laughs> I go gather compatriots. And the men and all that. I tell the men to get ready to leave. Like, immediately. All right. I don't want to get up, man. We don't know anything about the darkness. We don't know anything about her. I got a father from. I got a letter. Well, Andrix got a father. Got a father. A father got, from leather. Got leather. a letter from my father. Personally, I want to find out what the hell this is about. We leave. You it. tell me he's gonna have an unusual screwdriver and a terrible sense of fashion. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, read that out loud. It's a Doctor Who joke. It's oh, a, okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Wake both of them up, get the men ready, and we're leaving, like, now, going eastern. Fawn the letter. No, Let no, us rest. Note that Doldrahar is almost dead. Yeah. I am almost dead as well. So is Andrix. They have great wounds that are going to need a moment. So, so th- there's no way we can leave tonight. No. You can leave. It would be very, sure be very... It would okay. not behoove us It would be suicidal. So we're, wait- we're staying here for another night. Right. Great. Long rest. Is that as much as we have written? Or are we good to go? Uh, I, I mean, we I... did just run for three hours. Four. So. It's, it's, yeah, been almost one half hour. Oh, no, actually, it's, it's no, been about four hours. Oh, no, almost... you're, you're right, Julian. I'm sorry. It's been three. Yeah. yeah. It's been about three and a half hours. Um, like, I could keep going, but I don't think it would be the best shit if we kept going. Do okay. you want to wait and go I, that I, I, I would, I'd like to wait. wait. I'd like okay. to wait till wait week. next week, our next chapter of the game. Okay. I think it'd be best to play on Friday next week. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's, yeah, that's the, the goal was was Fridays, but you know, you had your thing. I, I had a thing, yeah. And that's not even an issue. Yeah. So. So we'll just tell the people. We'll come, what, Friday? Friday. Uh, I guess we'll do three o'clock. Because I'll get off work at two. Three weeks ago was no. I don't work on Friday. No, 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 no. He, he has school. He can't do three. Oh, yeah, sure. That's yeah. right. Sorry, I yeah. forgot. He has school. He's yeah. a wee lad. So four o'clock, four thirty Central four, Standard. Listen, four thirty Central. Yeah. Maybe five. I don't know. Cam, we'll we'll leave it up to you. Four thirty is fine. Four thirty. Yeah. Four thirty p.m. Central Standard Time next Friday. So that is the twentieth. That is the twentieth. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it it is, is the twentieth. So October twentieth, four thirty p.m. Central Standard Time is when the next stream is going to be up. That's okay. when we'll continue our awesome adventure. I'd also like to point out that Don't on the third of no- on November, like third of November, uh-huh. I'm going to be having face surgery. Yeah. So that might interfere with some things. That that's fine. Okay. It's okay. We can we can plan do, around things. We can plan around things. That's that's All totally right. fine. If you if you get in, if you're getting a procedure done. You know, we can we can postpone it longer. I can write more stuff out. We'll be okay. able to play cool. longer I the next to bring time. it up. Thank you, Shaman. We will see you next time if you're here. Thank you very much. I, everyone thank, for coming thank by. Thank everyone for watching. Yeah. I, 
I didn't expect that actually. I'm, like I'm, we got some. I wasn't content. expecting that. What, what is it? It's five. Is it five? Five yeah. people. That's yeah. good. One of them's us. But yeah, like, I mean, we got actual. Like I'm surprised. I I am thoroughly surprised yeah. that our very first run yeah. we had numbers like that. I, I yeah. We really appreciate I'm, it. I'm glad everyone dropped by. I'm glad you all got to listen to the story. It. Honestly, it wasn't as much as it wasn't as good as I was hoping it to be personally, but I feel like everyone still enjoyed it and we all had a lot of fun. We had a lot of good laughs. We had some good laughs. It was oh yeah, it was one of the most fun campaigns I've had in a while. Oh yeah. yeah. So we will see you all next Friday at four thirty p.m. Central Standard Time. Central Standard Time. As is. Uh, Thank you all for watching. All right. Take care, y'all.